Good evening, all of you who have joined us to this webinar organized by Dharkan Foundation India. I welcome every one of you and would like to give an inception to this webinar by addressing the welcome address. Hartley pronounced to all, it's my extreme pleasure to see you all on this virtual platform telecasting this live webinar. As the Chief Secretary of Dharkan Foundation India, I warmly welcome all the delegates and guests to this webinar on challenges of youth today, relations, time and stress. I hope this webinar proves to be fruitful to all of us and we enjoy every bit of it and stay together till the end of this webinar. Our guest speakers will be discussing a lot many things with all of us and would also be taking us through some wonderful activities and question answers which would be definitely help us in the future to handle stress, manage time and bondify our relations. Incepting with the program, I would like to give a short introduction of our first guest speaker, Honorable Mr. Harpreet Bhansar. We have Mr. Harpreet Bhansar with us. Sir is the Vice President, India and Middle East of Adidas Institute, United States of America and also a trainer at Heartfulness Institute from last many years. Mr. Bhan brings to his work a rich and diverse background from his senior management experience. It is noteworthy that in, the, in his last role before joining Adesis, Sir served as board member and regional director of a British PLC which had presence in 120 countries. Sir also delivers talks, lectures and conducts heartfulness workshops in India and abroad. Mr. Bhan is a training instructor at Heartfulness Institute, which is recognized by UNDPI. Also, Sir is the member of Mensa and an avid and passionate practitioner of Heartfulness Meditation as practiced under the auspices of SRCM established in 1945. Sir credits this simple to do daily self-development method for creating tremendous value and balance in his life and improving quality of life, productivity and EQ, emotional question. We welcome you, Mr. Harpreet, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Handing over the mic to Mr. Harpreet, sir. Straight away. Uh, yes, not sir. used to such long introductions anymore in this, in this time and age of uh, digital world that we have all... Uh, conspired to or you know we have fallen into over the last few months uh, thank you Anshuman and uh, my first and foremost my congratulations on the work that your foundation is doing all of you members together I think uh, at your age what you're able to do is really salutary very well done and I'm privileged to have been uh, invited by you and I understand you've got a a uh, lot of uh, registrations you've you've crossed uh, 500 you nearly 600 uh, registrations yeah. which is incredible so welcome everybody my name is harpreet and uh, i had a mini disaster my laptop has crashed so the screen is not coming on so i've had to borrow the laptop of my daughter and then access my data so it's been a pretty merry go round and this merry-go-round did create stress and, uh, you know, it was a nice prelude into getting into this session with you all. Uh, and I think I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to take the topic of stress. And uh, so I've been through it for some time in the past few minutes. Uh, Anshuman has been kind enough to introduce me, but really I'm a very simple guy. I'm a very normal guy. I'm a, I'm a normal family man. I've... Uh, I have a wife, two daughters, uh, grown-up daughters. Uh, uh, we stay with our parents. Uh, my mother's passed away, so I'm with my father, who's an ex-army officer. And of course, uh, yes, I've had a, I've had a good career. I was outside India for a long time, and I came back in 2012. We came back to India after about 23, 24 years abroad. And uh, if you, if I, Sometimes I'll be, you know, I, I don't say this out of arrogance. I say with a lot of humility. When I look at my CV, I look at my career, it looks like a very impressive one. 
Uh, probably it is. Uh, but it was very normal. Uh, it wasn't something extraordinary. I just think uh, I happened to be lucky. Uh, but uh, just to give you a brief, I was managing a, a billion dollar business at board level for across 43 countries. We had 250,000 employees. So this is a complex business I was looking at. And then uh, in true uh, illogical, irrational fashion, I decided to call it off. And I said, that's it. I want to go back to India. And I quit my job and I decided not to work in for a competitor, not to work in the industry, not to work at all for anybody. And then I happened to land up with Adesis. Why am I giving you this little brief is life is full of surprises. Uh, life is full of challenges. Right now, COVID has created all these challenges because it's it's kind of unified the world to one challenge. But really, if you just go back a bit beyond, before COVID, we still had our challenges. They were not COVID, but they were something else. There's always something or the other that's coming in your life that's going to create stress, that's going to create some, uh, uh, some unwanted anxiety. And uh, I'm here to kind of uh, play along with you for a little while today on how you could be managing this stress a bit better than what you would be otherwise. And the difference is the heartfulness techniques that we, that we use. And hopefully we'll introduce them to you between uh, myself and definitely Ekta, who, who will join right after me. In fact, she's just joined the broadcast, but she will take on after me. Uh, we'll get together and explore this. So ready, ready for a little adventure. Uh, so Suyash, if you can just mute everybody because there's some background noise coming. So good evening to all of you. And uh, what I'm trying to attempt is to start my screen sharing. And God above it, if it doesn't work, don't worry. We'll have a conversation, OK? Let's see what nature has in store for us. So screen sharing, uh, share screen. OK. Uh, my in, So I want to share an application window. No, my entire screen. Okay, let me share my entire screen. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to share my audio. So now I'm sharing my screen, right? It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? But you can see my screen, guys. Yeah, uh, you can You can just open your slide, whatever presentation you're going. Yeah, here it's visible. It's visible? Yeah, visible. Good. Fine. Am, you can am, just... Am, am, uh, Will I be visible yeah, to minutes. the viewers, or it's only the screen that's visible? Yeah, the visible. You are visible. You are visible, okay, but I'm only you'll visible. be able to see the screen. Okay. Heartfulness okay. to meditation, happiness, welcome. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome, guys. Good. So far, so good. So a quick answer. I I will not be able to see the chat window. So uh, Anshuman, if you look at the chat window and just tell me if people are responding. So sure, how many sir, of sure. you feel like this, maybe not now, but at some point during the day or during the week, maybe during the month, you have felt like this before? How many of you? Just type a yes in the chat window. And that'll make it easy. So that'll also tell me you're alive and you're listening. And there's no proxies here. Okay. Yes. We have Manish Manshi Rana. She's saying okay. yes. Pragati saying no. Vimal Jadon, oh. yes. Chaya Agrawal, yes. Okay, okay, we are still getting re responses. Uh, Rahul Sisodia, yes. Uh, and, who's the one uh, who said no? Who's the one who said uh, no? No, Dr. Rajveer Singh. Yeah. Dr. Doctor, Rajveer, uh, Doctor, please Rajveer send us. Singh. <laughs> okay, Doctor, please send us your Chakika Atta. I think it's very useful. Because most normal people go through something like this. Maybe this is an exaggeration. But really, in today's time, it's not too difficult to fall into a trap where you can be desolate, you can be lonely, you can be upset, you can be uh, anxious, you can be angry, you can be irritable. All these 
typical negative things that are happening. And, you know, it can happen to the best of us. But it'll come unannounced. And what I want to tell you is the root of stress, the root of anxiety is actually change. Because change creates uncertainty. And because there's uncertainty, you do not know what to do. And that causes stress. So I ask you another question. Is stress good or is stress bad? So if you can just, just type good or bad. Is stress good or bad? So Anshuman, I'll ask you to help me again because it's difficult. Yeah, I, yeah. actually how to handle this kind of problems. Rahul oh, Sodhi sure. is asking. <laughs> okay, Rahul will get there. I mean, uh, hold on, don't jump the gun. We'll, we'll, we'll get there for uh, sure. So... Uh, no, sir. Question. Bad. It's bad. It's bad for it's us. Bad. It's bad. Bad. Okay. Let me let me tell you something, guys. Stress is very natural. Anxiousness, anxiety is very natural. Whenever we sense danger, stress is a mechanism to alert us to a danger. I'll give you an example. If you've seen National Geography, you'll see a deer grazing very, 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 you know, Aram said, uh, you know, it's just grazing along and suddenly it senses a leopard there who's coming to hunt it, a predator who's coming to hunt it. So at that point of time, the stress is created in the deer to alert it to the predator so that the energy of it moves into what we call flight of uh, fright. So the energy moves to the limb so that it can run away fast. Now, what happens to the deer is, let's say it runs and the leopard runs after it. And after 10 minutes of chase, the deer is smart enough and dodges the leopard and the leopard is not able to catch it. The leopard will go back and sit down and take a breath and, you know, will give up. And the deer very quickly will come back to normal and start grazing again. Now, hear me again. The stress was caused by a natural mechanism that allowed the deer to run for its life. So stress is a very natural mechanism. Anxiety is a very natural mechanism. Our brain, particularly the prefrontal cortex, which is right here, is designed to actually pick up the danger signal and create this energy level in us, secrete those hormones so that we can run or fight. But why does it happen that stress is leading to burnout? Why is it that we are unable to manage something so natural, which is designed to help us? So much so, you can read the statistics here. And let me take you to another one. Stress and burnout is causing lack of sleep. 93% Indians are sleep deprived. And guys, this was a survey of two years ago, much before COVID came. And COVID has actually tightened the screws even more. So what's going on? What's going on? Why something that is natural is creating so much of trouble for us? That is the question. And in doing that, I can tell you going forward, the simple things that I've learned in life. If you want to manage your stress, if you want to remain healthy, and there's no one of us who doesn't want to remain healthy. I don't think any one of us wants to be unhealthy by choice. There are two simple things to do. You can avoid excessive stress if you take care of your sleep and you take care of your digestion. Ekta, who will follow me, will take you deeper into the sleep cycle and what does it really mean. And by this, I don't mean if you, if you know, it's a big deal to tell you youngsters to sleep on time because you're used to sleeping at two o'clock in the morning or maybe three in the morning. So, okay, if you sleep at two, sleep at 1.30. If you sleep at 1.30, start sleeping at one and try to prepone it to a better time and Ekta will tell you why. But sleep, if you can manage and if you can manage your digestion, many things which will create disease in you can be taken care of. Okay, so far? Good. Nowadays, Corona is causing all the stress. Many people are getting Corona. And now Amitabh Bachchan and his whole family has got uh, uh, Corona as well. So, you know, so it's the news is constantly bombarding us. 
from the TV channels, from the radio channels, from the newspapers, from all the OTT platforms, everyone, WhatsApp, we are talking of Corona the most. There is more stress being created by news of Corona than by Corona itself. So the problem is not the coronavirus. The problem is that inability to deal with the changes that are being caused by the coronavirus, because those changes are disintegrating us. I hope you're with me so far. Once again, before Corona also stress was there or excess stress was there, which was causing us anxiety. Corona has just unified the whole world. Everybody has got one thing to blame, Corona. But the, the problem is, the pattern is that we are getting stressed. And the stress levels are going beyond what we can manage. And there, can, there are many side effects. Uh, you know, maybe if you're a student, managing studies can give you stress. Managing your teachers can give you stress. Managing and, you know, even if you're not a student, you're working. So don't think of it as studies alone. If you're working, it's not your studies, it's your work that is giving you stress. But it's essentially what your mind is most occupied with is giving you stress. So you have all of these things which are conspiring and giving creating stress and they all add up and they become excessive and they create an effect on us which is not very nice which creates anxiety which creates irritability which creates depression which creates mental illnesses so we need to start figuring out what we have to do so guys i'm going to attempt something and i hope we can do it uh I want to start this, uh, so I want to start, uh, hold on a second. Everybody, if you have a mentee, can you go to, uh, sorry, if you have a smartphone or any other laptop or even this laptop and you've got internet connection, can you go to www.menti.com, M-E-N-T-I, go there. And you type in a code 675022. So if you can just type that code, please, and let me see if I can activate the mentee for you. Here it is. And so the question will come up. And the question really is asking you, what is causing you most stress? OK, what is causing you most stress? And you'll come up on your phone or whatever device you're going to access Menti. And one is, this is the thing that is causing me most stress. This is number one cause of my stress. And five is the least. So there are five situations. Please tell me how, what is causing you the most stress. Okay. So by the way, I'll come to know because the count here is zero. I hope you can see my screen. And I'd like to see some counts increasing because the voting is open now. So let me see. And the choices are really managing work or study related issues. Is that your number one cause? Or is it immediate family related issues? Or is it friends and social circle issues? Is it dealing with the world, the bad environment and the, and the danger of the environment, the pandemic, etc.? Or the self-created issues? So if you go to menti.com and you put in the code 675022, please. Hey, thank you. So there are two pioneers who have started. So let me see how many of you respond. I don't know what number to stop the voting at, but we will see the results live. How about it, guys? So I'm going to wait for a minute, allowing more and more of you to join in. And then we can go back to our... Uh, to our presentation. Good, good, good. Five. Okay, guys. Let's get a zero to five. Let's get at least 50. So we get a good sample size. So once again, menti.com, those who are just joining, and the code 675022. You can use your phone or whatever internet device you have and just go and just fill in the first question. Good, good. Typically, what happens is there's a sudden flood 
of inputs and you know this nine can become god knows 50 90 in one shot so i'm just waiting for that tipping point so let's wait for others to join in by the way this is the best way of interaction otherwise it's always a one-way street as i going to stop okay 12 good tough question is it did it take you long is it taking too much thinking you cannot make up your mind if you get your first two right don't worry about the next three they can be any mini mini more also it will be nice if you can give a good answer it helps to know where the pulse is Okay, so I'm going to create a countdown timer and the countdown timer is for a minute. So genuinely in one minute, we will close this voting. Let's see how many of you. Call. Okay, let me also start sharing the results. Ah, so, so far for the 23 people who have responded, 24, the thing that is causing the most stress is managing work or studies, depending on if you're a student or you're working. Oh, managing your own issues, the self-created issues is number two. Managing immediate family is number three so far. The friends and social circles is four. And the pandemic is not that much of a bother anymore. The environment loss or the change of environment is not so much. Okay. Okay, three seconds, two, one, number. Okay. So let's just say that we've got a decent sample of the 500 plus of you. But I, I would hope that you guys will will show more. Uh, what can I say? We'll, we'll interact more through Mentip. I've got a couple of others for you down the line. So what I take away from this is work and studies related. So whatever is your main vocation uh, is take, causing you the most stress. Not very surprising, but I'm really, uh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised that many of you have thought that this issues that are really self-created issues. Well, that's incredible. But then you have also, some of you have got the immediate family, friends, as well as the world related issues. Very good. So we're going to get out of Menti and I'm going to get back into my presentation. And where is my, here we are. Okay. Good. Uh, my screen is visible. Yeah, it's it's visible, sir. It's visible. Very good. Excellent. How to overcome. So the million dollar question, it's called the MDQ, million dollar question. Yes, the stress is there and it's beyond my managing. I, I'm not able to manage it. At times, it makes me tear my hair apart. What do I do? How do I overcome? How do I... And if you look at people who are successful, people who have mastered something in their life people who are integrated they don't allow change to disintegrate them they have energy to deal with the world they have this uncanny ability an incredible way where they can create opportunities in every problem that comes along i'll say it again problems come but they are able to seek the opportunity in that problem and capitalize on that opportunity. And if you can look at this guy jumping away in gay abandon, they can actually create a lot of uh, positive energy because of change. These are the guys who have been able to overcome stress and they've, able, they've been able to harness that stress and create energy into finding something which is an opportunity, into finding something that excites them and gives them hope for the future. What, how can you get that? How can each one of us, by the way, each one of us is capable of that. 
how can we get that and that is the question i don't know if you like lord of the rings i absolutely love that series uh tolkien books as well as the movies and frodo is a character there and the frodo is bechara crying yaar kaash ye mere time pe na hota i wish it need not have happened in my time and gandalf the wise is saying even i wish that bro but you know what we all everybody that passes through bad times wishes that why me but it is not for us to decide it is not for an individual to decide all we have to decide is what to do with the circumstances with the time that is given to us so that's that's the that's the whole crux i did not ask for covid i did not ask for corona i did not ask for all these studies and these work related stress but they have landed on my lap what do i do if you play cards you are dealt with cards you cannot say oh I, you know give me a new set of cards and everybody you play with your own set of cards that doesn't work like that you have to play with the cards that you are dealt with and try the best so in this let's try a little visualization exercise i'll ask you all i hope you have a paper and a pen because that'll help you greatly if not make a mental note or do something or type it out on your phone i give you a minute write down everything that is causing stress to you write it down uh, if it's an individual if it's a situation if it is a boss if it is a teacher if it is a colleague if it's a friend if it's your parents if it's your girlfriend boyfriend i don't care what what is causing stress in you just write down please on a sheet of paper and let's do this activity and i'm going to tell you simple tricks of how to deal with stress so i'm waiting while giving you a minute to write down and if you're not able to write down think about it make mental notes sometimes you may have to close your eyes to even articulate to put the thoughts around what really is causing you stress and for some people it's very difficult to find out what actually is causing stress there is stress i feel stress but what the hell is causing stress becomes a little difficult to articulate so it'll be all of us doesn't matter if you can't figure out also just try just write down even one thing if you can okay now that you've written some things that are causing you stress i hope i assume draw these three concentric circles in the same way that you're seeing the screen just draw three concentric circles now what you fill on the last circle the outside circle this particular circle so let me see if i can switch on a pointer um pen highlighter okay okay let's see a pen in this circle here then you have this circle and this circle in this circle the one outside here this one write down all the things that are bothering you but you cannot control them they are out of your control so out of your list of things that are bothering you the things that you cannot control although they bother you they do bother you acknowledge that but you cannot control them put those things in the outer circle to 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 help you with this Uh, let me give you a minute to do it to do whatever you're doing and i'll give you i'll share some examples of another workshop where i could interact and i could write down and i could find out from them and you know we were doing it i'll explain that to you so typically what these are 
and this is these are inputs from another workshop that we did along this line so somebody said you know covid 19 covid idiots are causing me trouble my job security the pay cuts the gdp of the country the economy of the country the stock crashing down the markets the forex reserves the petrol price diesel price uh, there were also some social media things that were causing stress the celebrities and what they are going through is also causing me stress the ipl was not happening at that point of time so that was causing stress to someone some politics mergers acquisitions not happening blah 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 oh there was an there was a guy who said aliens are causing maybe aliens are causing all of this so that's causing me stress so these were all the concerns that are giving me stress but i have no control over it zero control there was some more i think in that you know so the there were some concerns that were purely triggered by covid you know at that time lockdown was getting extended we have got too many things to do i'm doing my whole, whole housework also and my uh, job work as well and my cash flow is not being there the inventory of my company is not being managed very well essentials availability etc cetera, etc cetera. all these guys and some of them very said, said it very blatantly our inability to meet my friends or meet my loved ones that was causing them stress sure all these are relevant legitimate concerns but they are not in my control so what do you write in the second circle in the second circle you will realize whilst there are some concerns some things that are not in your control still you can influence them and who can you influence really the, your loved ones the ones who are close to you your colleagues uh, your clients maybe your subordinates your peers your boss your housemate for all you care people who you are in touch with you cannot control them but you can certainly influence them so write a few of your concerns that you wrote down that are causing you stress in the second circle so in the second circle is who or what i can influence you write those down and then whatever you're left with really are things that are actually in your control, which you can control. And why did I put, I, I don't know how many of you are married or not. Uh, you cannot control your spouse, by the way. You can influence them. So don't be in that fallacy that you can control. You can't control your kids. You can influence them at best. You cannot control your parents. You can influence them at best. Who is it that you can really control? Who is it that you can really control? Only yourself. Only yourself. And really, there are very few things that are in your control. What you eat, what time you sleep, have you exercised or not? Did you meditate or not? Have you, are you able to socialize or not? What do you read? How do you get educated? Did you donate or not? It's, it's your own clarity that is there between your, between your ears, in your mind space. That is what is going to give you control over yourself. And there are very few things in your control, come to think of it. So how do we use this framework? How do we use this framework? How do we become like this beautiful top, which is spinning, still in the center and whizzing in the corners? How do we do that? That is the question. The first thing that I'll ask you to do is try to reduce the things that are causing you concern. Drop a few things because there's really very little that you can do about it. Very, very little. You have no control whether rains come or not and if there's going to be a flood or not. You can only take care of what you will do in case that happens and that's it. Reduce the things that concern you. The second thing you can do is from the center circle, increase your influence. And if you are integrated, if you're calm, if you're in control, if you give out the vibes that you have really thought this through and you're giving a good suggestion, you will keep on increasing your influence. People will start listening to you. You can do that. And the third thing, which is absolutely in your control, is regain and intensify your own control. 
The question is how, and that's what we are going to get into now. And essentially, really, write this down if you have a paper and pen. Really, you have to create some action points for yourself. What are you going to start doing? What are you going to stop doing? What are you going to continue to do? And what are you going to change? Just ask yourself this question once a day, once a week. Just start asking yourself this question. Hey, what's bothering me? Let me dump it out. Let me see what I can manage, what I can influence, and what really I can do very little about. So what should I start doing? What should I stop doing? What should I continue doing? What should I change doing? And in doing so, how do I reduce my concern? How do I increase my influence? And how do I intensify my own control and regain the lost control that, that may, I may have lost? OK with me so far? So uh, again, Anshuman, I don't know if uh, there's some comments coming in. I have no clue. So I don't mind you butting in and telling me something to carry on. Or you know, if it's going too slow, tell me, please. But otherwise, it's me talking to myself, really, because I really cannot see any comments. OK? So somebody's mic came on. What happened? Uh, yes, sir. Um... Anji. There is uh, gee, one question is coming um, from Nisha Singh. She is asking, should uh, yes, I should control it by own control and coordination or what? Uh, Nisha, who else is in your control? Ask yourself the question. If you, th I'll tell you who else can be in your control. The remote control that will not uh, that will not react to you. Or uh, the toy that you wind and, you know, if you wind and leave it, it will, will do what you want it to do. But if you start talking about living beings, the beings that can think particularly, human beings, very little. Circumstances, even less. So really, th you have to answer this question for yourself. If you believe you can control someone, chances are you will be disappointed because you will realize you cannot control them and that might cause you even more stress. So don't have that expectation that you can control others. You can influence them. But for that, you have to have something in you which, which they look up to and they said, yes, if Nisha is telling me this, I better listen because she's coming from a very good space. Her heart is in the right place. Her mind is very clear. So let me listen to her because she'll tell me some things of wisdom. So that's all I can tell you for now. Okay. I, I really want to take questions and I want to get out of this uh, PPT ASAP, you know. And uh, let me see what I can do. Okay. What I'm going to do is the following. I don't know if you know of this gentleman called Dr. Victor Frankel. Man's Search for Meaning is a book that he wrote. He's the one who survived the Nazi Germany times. He was a Jew. He was in concentration camps. And he came out from the concentration camp. And he, uh, sorry, Anshuman, can you mute? Can you mute the mics? Because I'm getting echo. Thank you. Uh, uh, so Dr. Viktor Frankl, when he came out of the concentration camp, he came out a changed man. And he said, how can people be under so much of pain, so much of stress? And what he said was something very phenomenal. And I want to share that with you. There's a whole lot of stimulus that's happening around us. And those cause us concerns. And you wrote all of them down. You wrote so many things that are causing you stress. All of these are stimulus that are happening in the external and my inner world also. There's a whole lot of stimulus. And I'm responding to that stimulus. Sometimes I react to the stimulus, but sometimes I'm responding to the stimulus. And between the stimulus and the response, there's always a space. There's a moment. There's a space. And this space is very, very powerful, ladies and gentlemen, sisters and brothers, all you ones out there. In this space lies our power to choose how we will respond. This space is very, very vital. And guess what? 
whatever we choose as a response in our choice in our response lies our actual growth our freedom our success our energy levels our everything the space is vital vital so this pause so whenever somebody triggers something in you needles you causes you anxiety causes you pain it is the wise people say pause don't react at that time because you'll react you'll react from a stressed mind and stressed mind can't think too much try solving a problem when you are very stressed you have no energy you need energy to solve to think clearly and if you are very stressed all your energy is being consumed by the stress take a pause do something to slow it down so that you can choose how you respond maybe sleep over it if you are very wise respond the next day sometimes not responding is the best response but each one has to decide for themselves there's no right or wrong here if you can manage whatever you can manage go ahead with that but this pause this space is vital i'm going to share with you a couple of things now let's say i cannot take a pause i'm going to share a couple of what we call micro practices in heartfulness there are quite a few of you sitting listening to me maybe as we are talking we are in this kind of a some semi conversation where i'm actually talking a lot but i'm trying to elicit a response from you and even if you're thinking about it that's a good enough response as far as i'm concerned so you're reasonably relaxed because you're focused and we're talking to each other you're focusing on what's happening in this conversation you're not aware of the stress your attention is on this wherever you're sitting just drop your shoulders just loosen them do you feel a certain relief it's almost as if a load has gone off your shoulders this is a very good technique to give you instant relief just drop your shoulders drop your jaws loosen your jaws when you're very angry when you're very stressed out just loosen your jaws at that time you can do another thing i hope you can see me i'm sure if you cannot see me tell me i want you to see my fists i'm clenching my fist and i'm leaving them i'm clenching my fist tight i'm leaving them i'm clenching my fist and i'm leaving them so i'm i'm raising my hands to the camera so you can see it normally my hands are next to my hips just clench your fist tight and release it do it several times this is another micro practice take a deep breath it's another micro practice if you can take two three deep breaths it'll help you five deep breaths will help you even more and now i'll give you a a final micro practice for the day there's several others but you know i don't want to give you too much otherwise information download is too much take your right thumb close your right nostril just close it and some of you who do yoga you will know you know there we do anulom vilom but i'm talking only take your thumb right thumb close only your right nostril and now take a deep breath with only your left nostril so inhale exhale only with your left guys just try it just try it for indulge me for 15 seconds close your right nostril and just inhale exhale from your left five ten deep breaths with your left nostril works on the right brain it calms you down it activates the parasympathetic system this is the chandra nadi this is the surya nadi as ayurveda has discovered yoga is also into it and parasympathetic system is what causes you calm sympathetic system is what makes you active makes you run and fight so if you're in a stressful environment the sympathetic system kicks in the hormones for the sympathetic system kick in but when you are in the right brain side that is where you relax 
that the energy is not going to your limbs the energy is going to your critical organs your vital organs your visceral organs so that they remain healthy okay so these were a few micro practices and now guys back to your mentee and the question is i want you to close your eyes for 2 minutes and visualize a beautiful resplendent tree just close your eyes and visualize a beautiful resplendent tree do i take it forward ah uh. results from now okay if you have been able to visualize the resplendent tree please give me a one or two words what all did you see again if you go to menti.com the code is still the same 675022 and if you're not logged out of your earlier menti you will see the next question straight away So you just close your eyes and you visualize the tree what did you see I hope the mentee is working Anshuman would you know if the mentee is working yes sir it's working are ba lekin abhi tak zero hi chal raha hai kya chakkar hai I hope people are trying. I hope so too. Oh, we have a pioneer. Thank you very much. By the way, I do not know who you are, but whoever you are, thank you so much. you guys don't like menti very much is it or you don't like to interact you just want to listen is it or you want to be on that proxy chalo yaar isko jo bhi hai isko bolne do let's just keep ourselves logged in we'll get the certificate at the end i hope not i hope this is a utterly cynical view people are doing asn edition vikram rajput salik ahmed alok kumar Uh, Nehru Bhandari, everybody is doing it. Oh, wow! Sabas, thank you. <laughs> Chalo, na dikhana bhi shuru kar deta hu because time bhi ho raha hai. So, oh boy, a giant African tree, leaves, fruits. but a lightful tree a huh? lightful tree is beautiful to do i wonder what that is birds chirping greenery beautiful tree there were some winds calmness leaves flowers fruits tree giant tree boy guys good 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 ice soothing my college garden nice Okay I'll do a 15 second countdown now and then I will close this voting oh one minute ka ho gaya sorry I'm I'm a little technology but I can always stop voting I guess so guys come on can we cross unlucky 13 a little help from you what did you see itna simple question oh 40 thank you good 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 okay you yeah, well, let it go on uh, but this is great huh we see so many different things and all nice and you know i've i've done this exercise quite a few times 
and many people tell me uh, that uh, uh, you know uh, eight second oh yeah sorry let me take this through I just chose the wrong slides one second one second okay good we are at the right place now people tell they see fruits they see big leaves they see a strong trunk they see so many things there's some birds chirping they see nests of birds they see squirrels i've seen i've heard all of these things very rarely somebody tells me they've seen the roots we very have rarely. some uh, results in the chat box as well sir which is uh, people are saying shadow neem uh, home uh, gardener rose greenery of shimla mango tree in the garden kashmir valley fruitful tree good anshuman the point is made the thing yeah. is once again let me take you to back very often we see what's outside we don't see the roots you know this tree which is very resplendent that beautiful mango tree that you have seen full of fruits and birds chirping around it the beautiful shade it is giving that mango tree during autumn during patjhad it will it will drop all its leaves it may give fruit in one season it will not give fruit in another season a woodcutter will come and chop it from its trunk leaving only a stump behind what can decide if this tree will grow back again and become green again will become fruitful again will cause the same shade again everything what will decide its roots lekin roots don't come into our visual spectrum that easily very rarely somebody says i saw the roots because roots are not seen they are unseen you have to look for the roots you have to dig and look for the roots in a tree why this example from nature is useful for us all our life the what we can see in the tree the big shade the leaves the fruits the trunk everything these are all our worldly accomplishments they are very important by the way don't let anybody fool you and tell you that is not important it is important it is important to look after your family it is important to look after yourself to the best of your ability your material world should be well looked after the best you can so that you can provide for your family in the best way and you can do good for others but that's not the only thing because storms will come changes will come they will be there will be times in your life when you'll go through a low when material things will kind of run away from you what will decide whether you become fruitful again you become green again you become strong again you become successful again your own roots the importance is inside out the import the most important thing of the tree are the roots because if the roots are strong it can withstand storms it can withstand autumn it can withstand whatever else comes its way however our attention is mostly on the fruits is mostly on the shade it's mostly on the leaves it's mostly on the trunk it's mostly on the material world very rarely our attention goes into our roots if i ask you where are your roots as an individual if i ask you please tell me where are your roots what will you tell me do you even know where are your roots where is your inner self how much time have you spent with your inner self in your entire life not just this week or this month in your entire life the problem is in importance is inside out however our attention is outside much much more outside which is why we are in an imbalance which is why we are disintegrated which is why the stress is beyond what i can manage and guys you're smart if the if the problem is disintegration the solution is integrate integrate if you're falling apart somewhere fix it 
don't be like a car which is only running and you don't take it to the service station and there's no i mean if you guys have a car or a scooter or a bike you don't keep running it you go take it to the mechanic once in a while and get it serviced get the oil changed get the filter changed so that it can run smoothly so that the friction is not there and does not break down the vehicle how do you service yourself which service station do you go to which filters and oil do you change of yourself how do you integrate yourself figure that out ask yourself that question what have you done in your life that integrates you because if you are integrated you can integrate others they say you wear the oxygen mask yourself first and then put it on the others you have to have it with you first if you have to give it so how do we integrate ourselves what do we do we need to get connected to our roots and we need to nourish them we need to manage ourselves better i have news for you ladies and gentlemen i did that stress question and you know number 2 rank came uh issues caused by the self i can guarantee you everything that stresses you you are letting it create stress in you the stress is not from outside the stress is coming from within you you're just allowing some stimulus from outside to create that stress in you you are choosing your stress so you have a duty to yourself to look after yourself love yourself please again i mean amita bachan has been my hero you know when i was growing up he was the he was the hero to follow you know the superstar now there are so many superstars at that time there were very few gine chune hote the so i'm concerned when he got uh, when i got the news last night that he's got uh, this uh, covid very little i can do except for sparing a thought maybe put a prayer if i like him okay may you be well but because i'm able to manage myself better i will not let it cause stress i will not let it cause stress more more than anything else tomorrow it could be somebody of like my loved one how will i manage that until i have not managed my own self better and the reason i took the name of a hero is it's time in your life that you change the hero for yourself whoever is your hero great let them be it's time to change that person who is your hero make your own selves your heroes for some time at least look after yourself love yourself be kind to yourself be gentle with yourself strengthen yourself nourish your roots and nourish them in silence you know this fellow einstein i think 99 times and find nothing i stop thinking swim in silence and the truth comes to me truth innovation discovery the best ideas they come to a relaxed mind not to a stressed mind a stressed mind is good for nothing it can only be good for destruction self destruction the most now ready for an experiment i hope you are because i'm kind of done with this uh i'm going to actually get out of here so i'm going to quit the i'm going to stop sharing so i can see something at least because i've had enough of of the screen uh let me go back to stream yet and uh, this will happen okay now where are your roots where are my roots you remember biology classes in class 7 8 or something like that you know you had the digestive system the nervous system the reproductive system that excited us the most at that time at least me i don't know about you guys uh, you know and all these systems that are there in us 
there's one system called the circulatory system. Do you remember that? What the circulatory system is really it's showing all the arteries and the veins inside the body. And there's a, there's a little heart. From the heart, all these arteries and veins are spread all over all our body. If you look at them, don't they look like roots? The heart is the root of our roots. The heart, our heart, is the root of our roots. And if you can fix your heart, if you, do, if you can become warm-hearted, if you can become generous-hearted, if you can become beautiful-hearted, you guys, you're nearly there. You're nearly there. You cannot have an evil person who is warm-hearted. They don't gel. They can be cold-hearted. Okay? So let's make, let's become scientists for the next five minutes. We're going to become scientists. I'm going to take you through a heartfulness relaxation exercise. And after me, Ekta is coming and Ekta will take you through a heartfulness meditation exercise. Guys, you're in for meditation. And, you know, often I'm asked, hey, I'm just about 20. I need to, I, I need to have fun in my life. I need, to, I need to enjoy my life. Meditation when I'm 50. Do you think I don't have fun? Trust me, I have a lot of fun. Uh, do, you, do you think I don't enjoy? I enjoy a lot. My enjoyment and my fun have taken another level altogether since my meditation started. But I'm not a lucky person. In, I'm not lucky enough. I started when I was 40. My children, my daughters started when they were 16, 17. And I am... It is a joy to see these young people growing, making an impact, not just in themselves, but in the surroundings around. I'm not saying that because they're my children. We've been uh, God has been kind. We've got good children. But they are practicing the heartfulness meditation, and it is making a serious difference in their life, in their success, in how they handle themselves. And by the way, we all go through our churn. We go through the breakups. We go through the challenges of today's life, social media, peer pressures, all of that. They're able to tackle it better. There's another thing. Oh, now I'm going to start meditation. You're going to tell me, wake up 4 o'clock in the morning. No, I'm not going to tell you that. I'm going to tell you, whenever you wake up, whenever it's morning for you, meditate. Follow your heart. Have confidence in yourself. Do something to nourish your roots. First, let's say hello to our roots. Let's just say hello. Forget all these questions. We'll take these questions later. And I want you to ask me difficult questions. I don't promise to give you answers. But ask me whatever you have to ask me. But before that, let's go through this relaxation. So the heart is going to be our laboratory. You're going to be scientists. And let's just now relax ourselves. Okay? Ready? Okay, guys. Indulge me for the next five minutes. Be, sit down comfortably wherever you are. Wherever you are. Just sit down comfortably. Close your eyes. I'm going to take you through the heartfulness relaxation. And you can practice this. This is a Brahmastra. If you are stressed, this will work very well. Breathe normally with your eyes closed. And close your eyes very gently. Now we'll start with the toes of our feet. Your eyes are closed. Put your attention towards your toes. And move your toes slightly. Just wiggle them. Feel an energy... Coming in from Mother Earth. Imagine there's an energy from Mother Earth coming in, entering your toes. And it's relaxing your toes. Making them light. The energy is now moving through your entire feet, relaxing your feet.
It moves up, deeply relaxing your ankles. Your calf muscles. Your knees. Thighs. And now let this healing energy from Mother Earth deeply, very deeply relax your hips. And your waist as well. Your entire legs from the waist till the toes perhaps have never felt this light before, never felt this relaxed before. Let the energy from Mother Earth now pass through your lower back and upper back, relaxing your entire back. Let it come into the front side and relax your stomach, all your abdominal muscles. And let that relaxation spread into your entire chest area, your heart area. The energy is now moving through your shoulders, making your shoulders almost melt away. It moves through your arms, relaxing your upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, your hands, fingers, right up to the fingertips. Maybe the energy is even oozing out of your fingertips. Let it go. It's taking away all the stress. Move on to your neck. Feel the tension go away. Relax your neck, all the neck muscles. Now let this healing energy from Mother Earth reach your face, deeply relaxing your facial muscles, your chin, lips, nose, cheeks, earlobes, your lovingly, gently closed eyes, your forehead, and now relax the top of your head, the crown of your head. Your entire body from top of the head to the tip of the toes is now light, relaxed. Now gently move to your heart and relax your heart as well. Feel the warmth and love that exists there. You may scan your entire system and any part of your body that requires healing, that requires to become good again. Let the healing energy from Mother Earth be infused in that part. Spend 30 seconds a minute in letting this energy flow through that part, healing that part. Mm -hmm. 
And whenever you're ready, very gently observe how you feel. You feel calmer, you feel relaxed, you feel more stressed. What is it? And once you know how you feel, very gently, little by little, open your eyes. So good. So that was it, guys. Um, what what have we done today? What have we done today ever since I started cooking? Stress is natural. It's a natural response. Excessive stress and holding on to stress is unnatural. Become the deer, which becomes de-stressed the moment the danger goes away. But we keep holding on to these dangers. Don't let that happen to you. When you feel stressed, I gave you a few micro practices. Think about them. One was this visualization tool where start, stop, continue, change. And there are very few things in your control. You can influence some. Many things are out of your control and influence. Deal with them accordingly. Do the little micro practices that heartfulness gives away. And I shared with you the heartfulness relaxation exercise, which is a precursor because a relaxed mind is absolutely important to meditate. And uh, I've, uh, can, I, can I take another menti question, uh, Anshuman? Do we have time? I don't know how we place. I'm already an hour. To, I was supposed to take one and a half hours. I don't know what it is, or at least that's yeah, what I. Yeah, it's one hour twelve minutes now. Okay, good. One hour twelve minutes. I think I've taken enough of your, your time, but there's a menti question, and as uh, now I hand over to Ekta Ben, uh, maybe if you guys can answer that menti question, or uh, how will you do the question answers, uh, Ayush, uh, um, Anshuman? Uh, so we have questions coming in the chat box and I'll okay. just display them on the screen. So if you can just read and answer them, that would be great. So I should look at the private chat or you'll display there or yeah, should I on, the the screen, on the screen, on the screen, on the screen, on the screen only. Arawa. On the normal okay. chat. Yes. I'll just display them. Okay. Okay. The question is hitting from Alok Kumar. I hope you are able to see yeah, it. Yeah, sir. I can see that. Just tell me one thing only, is stress and anger, are they different or the same thing? What do you think? Ah, look, make your own definition, bro. Don't worry. Both are not right for you. <laughs> that's, that's what that matters. You know, a little stress and a little anger is not bad. Stress will make you alert and make you do the right things. A little stress. A little anger directed towards yourself will cause self-improvement. The problem is when this goes beyond that limit, when it starts impacting your insides and the outside world, both are not right. And I would highly recommend, in fact, request with folded hands, even as an elder to you, I don't mind if this is what can make you. Please take control of your life. Become your own hero. Spend 30 minutes a day looking after yourself, nourishing your roots. Stress and anger will become your friends. There's a river, right? The river can flood and cause destruction or I can harness that water and create electricity. Stress and anger, you decide whether you want to harness it to create generate some positivity or you want it to create a flood it's your choice next yeah the next question okay no more questions i guess Arrabha. 
uh, only guys, comments sir. are coming that was a wonderful session thank you very much sir i am feeling relaxed everybody is commenting uh, wonderful after that relaxation wonderful Shall session you? okay uh, so thank one, you very I, much I, sir I, I will ask one I, can i ask one question of the fear of everybody if they can type in the chat box i have a menti for yes. it but forget it menti is too messy right now how many of you have meditated regularly in your life just say yes only those who have meditated regularly who meditate regularly just say yes i'll wait for a minute i'm looking at the live comments so no one so far last two months nikhil well done sabas man sikarwar yes oh, oh no somebody is uh, this is going up so nikhil is the yes yes are a few of you yes apurva sabas you are also meditating good so let's say 10 out of 560 560 anshuman kitne hain log kitne log group mein hain I can't hear you. I think you're muted. Uh, the current number is eighty, sir. The eighty people okay. are watching us. Oh, so ASN edition. Whoever you are, thank you. Not gonna lie. Of course, you're going to lie to yourself, <laughs> not to anyone else. Once in a blue moon. I have news for you guys. But before I go to the news, I ask you another question. have you experienced the divine in yourself the supreme divine in yourself ever have you experienced the divine in yourself okay now uh, just answer this question have you experienced the divine in yourself yeah nikhil who i am is a very big question who am i good luck bro find the answer for that find your own answer oh yes many times no sir shashank good i have news for you guys all of you all of you have meditated before all of you guaranteed has experienced the divine before ask me how ask me how come on come on come on yes i assume you are asking me how whenever you did something with single minded focus whether you were singing whether you were writing music whether you were reading a book whether you were with your friend uh, particularly your girlfriend or boyfriend whenever you were there with single minded focus you were actually meditating meditating means being with one thought sometimes work sometimes studies is also there that's meditation guys guys of my age when they play golf they think they are meditating because they are single mindedly playing golf and for those you may know there is something called premeditated murder so even for murder you have to meditate because you are planning so intensely there is nothing else that can that comes near you except this one project that you are on to that's meditation guys the difference is the object of the meditation hear me well the object of the meditation is what makes the difference which is why the next session with ekta is going to be life changing for you i have only set the ground you know if you really want to help yourselves you want to make yourselves you want to make yourselves your own heroes please listen to ekta she <laughs> tell you she tell you how how well said harpreet bhai you just said so well i was so happy listening i felt like okay i don't want to talk now <laughs> the other Not thing good, i yeah. asked you the other thing i asked you have you experienced the divine i have news each one of us has experienced the divine at some point or the other when was it that you were truly happy you were elated you were on top of the world and you were full of energy and that's what the divine connection does for you 
And if you start thinking a little deeper, many times, most of the times, if not every time, you really feel happy when you have achieved something which is going to make an impact for others. When you've given something, when you've shared something, when you've done something that is going to make a change for the better for others. Guys, heartfulness is simple tools for you to experience that divine at will. At will. There's, a, there's divine in everything around us. So why can't we experience it 24-7? You don't have to meditate 24-7. Meditate half an hour a day. The rest 23 and a half hours will become meditative. You will do a great job whatever you're doing. So with that said, I have now exceeded my time way beyond what I was supposed to do. Sorry, Ekta. I, I've oh, kept, you, I've I'm kept you away from uh, this lovely crowd. And guys, be ready for be <laughs> ready for a uh, for a real rocket ride now. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, oh, as, if so yours, as if yours was a camel <laughs> or a horse cart. I tell you, man, you really shook them. Thank you, Harpreet. Bhai. I was listening myself. I mean. I was part of your audience. I didn't do the mentee because I didn't know if it was allowed to. But I listened to everything. And yes, a um, lot of sense. And I really appreciate what you said about be your own hero. And today, as you know, like you said, today, this Amitabh Bachchan story is all over the place. <clears throat> it makes us wonder what we are looking at as heroes. And very often we make other figures so big who are on screen or, you know, but in our life exists so many heroes, you know, and I must really say that you are one for me. I've so much learned from you and seen you in action in terms of not only work on ground, but, you know, so I think really uh, what makes us, you know, work with this, with our um, lives is, not so far it's quite nearby it's you know it's actually each other and i think uh, so hats off really great session and um, i hope more questions come if they come then i'll pick up from where you left because i think you said it a lot i think you said it all so let's just see what are the questions that come up and i'll pick them up as and how they come okay, okay. so i would like to introduce our next speaker to the audience uh, we have with us Mrs. Ekta Budalik, ma'am. She is the director of university programs, national coordinator of Ombudsman and Ongoing Improvement Committee for the HFN Institute. Ma'am spent 20 years of her life in France and is currently back to India. She runs an NGO, It's Possible Ecology Trust, with her husband in Gujarat on their unique green tech organic farm that is on the forefront of eco-constructions and permaculture practices. Mrs. Ekta is a traveler, a writer, and a great orator speaking at various events. The gamut of her past profiles range from that of being a freelance journalist, media anchor in France for television and radio, an ecology activist, to that of a speaker at several international and national forums. Her having both lived in India and France forms the plinth of her interest in cross-culture communication, PR and event management like at UNESCO Paris and Ayush Ministry India, where she represents Heartfulness Institute and Sri Ramchandra Mission. Ma'am is also the co-founder and charge de communication at the Vedic Federation of France. Ma'am also teaches the quantum healing method, a hands-on quantum science-based method that she has redefined from her own experiences as a healer over the years. Her passion is to bring together and connect everyone who has been carried by wonder beyond the mundane into the land of feelings and thoughts of endless possibilities through the ancient yet modern practice of Raj Yoga under Sahaj Marg method worldwide. Ma'am will be talking with us about time management. Handing over the mic to Mrs. Ekta Budulik, ma'am. 
I'll take leave and uh, Anshuman, I'd love to come back. If I'm finished with the other call, I'll come back and, uh, you know, just to peep in. Okay. Bye-bye. Sure, Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for allowing me to mess with you. Uh, <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye, Harpreet. Bye. Thank you very Bye. much, brother. Okay. So, uh, wow. Uh, Anshuman, that was such a lot of stuff you said about me. Did I send you that profile? Like, seriously? <laughs> okay. I just right. uh, cut short right. a lot of it. it <laughs> Thank was you. I mean, I don't know. Quite big. Okay. Uh, but one thing, one main thing which you forgot and which gives me, I think, the right to talk on uh, time management today. It's not all the work that I've done, okay? Is the fact that I have two kids and I raised them on my own. I mean, my husband was at work and I was a stay at home mom till my kids were at home till they went to college. So I think that is giving me the degree to say I know how to manage time. Okay. So, and I think all of you can oh, look sure. up and see your moms because if they can do it, you can do it. All right. And believe me, they know how to do it because the fact that you are there bright and smart and, you know, shining, that's because your moms did a great job and your dad did a great job. So fantastic. So let me start with that. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to be here. I did not really know that there would be so many of you. What do you say? Hindi Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm. I think a uh, few are from south, uh, so I uh, don't think that they'll have a bit problem. We can continue in Hindi as well. Ah, thoda Hindi, thoda English. I'll speak both because the thing is, uh, basically, I'm Gujarati, you know, so my mother tongue is Gujarati. I speak French a little bit. I mean, yeah, I speak French because I lived in France for so long. But in your own language, Hindi language, you can speak a lot of Hindi. Okay, so let's Hindi a little bit. और बोलना मुझे इतना नहीं है मुझे बस इतना रिमाइंड करना है कि हम लोग जो कर रहे हैं ना यहां पे जैसे हम लोग सब इकट्ठा हुआ है एक घंटे से सुन रहे हैं एक घंटे से सोच रहे हैं कि भाई एक लाइफ में इतने सारे प्रॉब्लम्स है कोई सॉल्व कर दे कोई कहां पे कोई सलूशन मिल जाए तो हम कुछ कर पाए है ना तो ये चलता रहता है माइंड में चलता रहता है सुबह हर रोज उठ के और कहीं ना कहीं ना वो साइकिल हो जाता है सेम प्रॉब्लम्स कम बैक है ना सेम इश्यूज कम बैक और प्रॉब्लम्स ही नहीं प्रॉब्लम्स के बारे में क्यों सोचे वो तो बहुत नेगेटिव सी बात हो गई हमें लाइफ में कुछ बनना है हमें कुछ करना है हमें कुछ अचीव करना है और हमेशा ना गोल्स के पीछे भागते रहते हैं ये साल में गोल्स क्या है आज के लिए क्या गोल्स है और हो पाया कि नहीं हो पाया ना ये सब चीजें जब माइंड में चलते सुबह उठ के फर्स्ट थिंग इज इट जस्ट योर माइंड स्टार्ट्स टॉकिंग द मोमेंट यू वेक अप देयर इज अ चैटर अ कांस्टेंट नॉइज इन योर माइंड as if somebody is talking in your mind and you can't stop that person like ever until you go to sleep, right? Jab aap bahut neen mein hote ho, tab you can tell this thing ke stop talking, right? Or it kind of stops talking unless you're into deep dreams, okay? So what happens? Now, that is the time when you're trying to organize your day. Ke aaj mujhe kya karna hai? Kabhi kabhi to organize karne ka time nahi milta hai, we just step, we just fall into the work, seedha. Okay, calls are jayenge, you know, something comes up, you have an online course now, so you can't even go to colleges, you know, you have straight away online courses, no escape. I mean, your computer is there, you have to attend. So what are you going to do? You don't have an option. You have to start doing what you're doing. And in the doing, before even thinking, before even planning, before even taking a step back and considering ki kya hai na, we just go poof, straight in. Okay. Now, that's great. I'm also like that. I love doing things. Lekin, ko agar hum, if we take, go to bed, or sote vakt hum thoda se analyze kare ki bhi aaj ka din kaisa ra. To kya lagta hai? We feel like, oh shit, I missed on this. Oh my god, ye to hua hi nahi. Or aaj jo maine kiya, uh, kaash aisa kar paate, kaash itna acha ho paata. You know, I spoke, I had this webinar, and I wish I spoke better, you know. So all these things keep, you know, working in our brains. And we fall asleep with most of those thoughts. So we get into a state of stress, like Harpreet Bhai was explaining to us, right? And it's not just stress. It's a lifetime of feeling not up to it, a lifetime of feeling 
कि दिस इज नॉट इनफ एंड ना हमारी दुनिया में जैसे ये हीरो लोग अभी अमिताभ बच्चन की बात चल रही थी तो हीरो लोग को इतना बड़ा बना देते हैं उनकी लाइफ इतनी बड़ी बना देते हैं इनको मेगा स्टेटस दे देते हैं तो हम हमारे माइंड में उनकी लाइफ वो फिल्म चल रही है ना ऐसे होती है you see all these cars and you see all this money and you feel like wow but you know what everybody is the same human being hum sab ek hi cheez aur ek hi tarah se bane hue hain hai na aur hamari hum jab aankh band kar lete hain to feeling jo aati hai mane hum jo mehsoos karte hain duniya ko jo experience hum karte hain wo hamara experience sabka most of the times ek tarah ka hota hai सरकमस्टांसिस जो हो प्लीज बिलीव मी इवन इन द मोस्ट यू नो रिच द मोस्ट वेल्दी लाइफ पीपल कैन नेवर बी आई मीन देर आर टाइम्स वेन यू विल बी सरप्राइज एट आवर एंड हैप्पी दे आर ओके आई हैव आई हैव हैड दी ओकेजन टू इंटरव्यू एंड मीट अमिताभ बच्चन एंड आई स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम विद मिस्टर बच्चन इन पैरिस वेन वी वर वर्किंग एज ऑन अ सिनेमा आई वॉज डूइंग इवेंट्स इन पैरिस एंड आई वॉज वर्किंग ऑन अ सिनेमा festival and i met mr bachchan and spent a lot of time discussing with him and i found a very down to earth man he had the same queries as you know somebody i would be discussing on the street would have that day he came from qatar ek aise aaye the ha london se aaye the and there was this you know eurostar is a train that comes to paris hai na तो वो जब पेरिस आए तो उनका you know what was the best part of his day ki he could walk on the street without people stopping him the man was miserable about that so people have their own issues people have their own worries just because we see something on screen we don't take it for real everybody has the same issues and the main issue of our day is either you have too much time or you don't have enough time ya to bore hote rehte ho ya to life aise chalti hai ki kuch ho nahi raha hai या तो फिर कुछ हो रहा है तो ऐसे चल लगता है कि टाइम नहीं है मेरे पास एंड 90 परसेंट मैं अभी आपको बोलू ना और रोज सुबह उठ के एक घंटा मेडिटेशन करना है तो व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट कमेंट मेरे पास टाइम नहीं है या मैं उठ नहीं पाता हूं और या मैं उठ नहीं पाती हूं ओके माई क्वेश्चन टू ऑल ऑफ यू हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू एंड हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू वेक अप बिफोर फाइव इन द मॉर्निंग ट्रिक क्वेश्चन गाइज ट्रिक क्वेश्चन so i don't have menti right now i am i don't rely much on those tools yaar mere se nahi hota i like this human face to face talk you know to agar koi bolna chahe to we have comments in coming nikhil singh chauhan he wakes up at 5 are wah nikhil good yaar man 5 right okay so there are people who are batting early okay good prishwan aherwar vishal parmar akansha gupta ज्ञानी because uh, my own experience when i was in school was waking up morning was tough sleeping late in the night was super fun that was the time when you could listen to music that was the time that enchanting moment when the world was asleep and you had your friends with you or you had friends on the phone or you know life was good in the night right something magical about being alive in the night okay and mornings were like difficult going to school going to college with mornings was like ah but let me tell you one thing the day i started waking up early everything changed totally and i was like i wish i had woken up this early all my life and my only story to share with you today if there's one thing you pick up from today and go back home with is you want to change anything in your life in terms of time in terms of your thinking in terms of your physical health in terms of your mental health in terms of your relationships in terms of your success and finances there is one secret and it's not the book by ronda bright okay she tells you to visualize i'm going to give you something much simpler 
and man it works it is it's just the beginning of the journey and if you really are looking for something then use it it comes for free because and i don't know how many of you can guess it but the secret is getting a proper sleep cycle okay this sounds totally pathetic this is the kind of thing your great uncle will tell you at the breakfast table when you wake up in the morning he looks at you and he says bachcha subah jaldi utha karo you know but <laughs> i mean you know it sounds totally boring but guess what you know i was looking at the science of it and you know what there's this amazing ted talk how many of you look at ted talks if you're not then you should probably be looking at some very nice ted talks because ted is the forum where you can share great ideas okay so if you look at ted talks and you see these ted talks and these guys are talking there is one on sleep and he shows you the brain patterns that happen when you sleep and when you are awake okay so there is a science behind it and a very powerful science so some people you feel ki yaar ye to born hi lucky hue hain you know ye to bas successfully born hue hain inki life mein to bas success hi success hai hey get out of that get out of that there is no free lunch bhai yaar nothing like that happens effort karne ke i mean without efforts man nothing happens so i'm going to show you two things ek to sleep cycles ki baat hai thoda sa wo hum log dekh lenge agar nahi dekhna hai to abhi aap snooze button laga do facebook karna chalu kar do aur jab meditation karenge tab wapas aa jana no issues free to go class those of you who are interested hang in there because sleep is the key to everything if you can manage and write this down if you can manage 7 hours of sleep as an adult you're all adults now i don't see any children here if you can manage 7 hours of sleep all right and sleep but not just any sleep you manage your quality sleep then the rest of it you can start doing all right before that if you even start doing exercise you start running you start doing muscle strength you start doing gym you start doing homework you start doing um lessons you know whatever you have but you have not prepared your canvas to jo bhi likhoge na it won't be on smooth surface it will be on a rough surface have you ever written on a rough surface you might have the best pen you might have the best thing to write but it will come out all you know like a scribble thing you want to write beautiful stuff write on a smooth canvas people and that smooth canvas is your mind your brain your body your body's functions your mind's functions everything settles down when you had a good sleep okay you do know, do you know about brain wave patterns some of you might be right let's see if somebody comes up and tells me they know about sleep a uh, brain wave patterns anybody I mean, I wish I could see everybody, and then you just raise their hands and say, "Yeah, I've heard of that before." But hmm. virtual meetings, guys, it's bad times. Da da da. Nobody. Anybody? Anshuman, everybody is saying yes. No. No, co- no comment. Still now. Okay. Is everybody gone? <laughs> is somebody here still? <laughs> no. people are there i guess yeah okay uh uh kamalpreet kaur hmm okay so people are still there okay good good otherwise you and i are having a conversation so which is not a bad idea either okay, okay so people are there they are responding all right okay cool okay so you know what your brain has um activity which can be measured by eeg machines okay you know those things that go graph you know that kind of does a little graph and they put electrodes on your head and they can you know sense your brain activities you seen that kind of a thing okay so when you are in a state like right now we are talking listening we are active we are in a conscious state then our brain will be working in a beta mode okay and beta waves or vibrations you know electromagnetic impulses electrical activity of the brain will be in a very sharp up and down like you know you see those frequencies they'll be very compact 
and it'll be very active. Okay, so get simple like that. Okay, the frequency is interesting. Then when you go into slightly relaxed, Abhi Jo Harpreet Bhai made you all do was relaxation. You all felt great, right? That was because your brain went into a slightly more relaxed, more slow moving vibrations. These are called alpha waves. Alpha waves are excellent for study. Some kind of music can generate alpha waves. So if you're studying, if you're listening, to a lecture, if you're working, if you're trying to think and concentrate, you could listen to some of these music, you know, like classical music. Some ragas are good for learning. You have Mozart, you have Bach, you have some very interesting music which can create the right vibrations for your brain to get into alpha. It's pure science. It doesn't have to do anything with the philosophy of it. Your brain activity will come down to alpha. Your memory is much better there, okay? Because the brain impulses between the neurons is much more conducive to storing memory and to focus and to understand and to have thinking processes. Means your neocortical, I mean, you know, the front part of your cortex, which is your thinking brain, will be more activated. All right. So that is one thing for you. Okay. Now, when you start sleeping, guess what happens? The first part of your sleep, when you start sleeping, like थोड़ी देर के माइंड एक्टिव रहा आप सोचते रहे थोड़ी देर ऐसे ऐसे करवटे लेते रहे और फिर जब आप सोना चालू करते हो तो पहले चंद घंटों की जो नींद होती है ना दैट स्लीप वो टाइम पे आप देखना अगर आप किसी को सोते हुए देखोगे ना तो उसकी आंखों में यू सी रैपिड आई मूवमेंट्स आंख बंद होगी लेकिन नीचे यू सी मूवमेंट अंडर द आई चेक इट आउट समबडी स्लीपिंग इन योर फैमिली पहले आपसे पहले कोई सो गया ना तो जाके देख के you will see rapid eye movements because the brain is still active trying to figure out what is it that it received as inputs information during the day that you did not consciously analyze aur kya hota hai na ki wo brain usko samajhne ki koshish kar raha hai ki kahan pe isko memory mein stock kiya jaye kahan pe koi emotional experience tha do you get it this is what your brain does when it is in the initial sleep mode aur jitna aapka din active raha jitna aapne din mein let's say input aaye sound eyes you saw something no it will try to organize that information in the first part of your sleep so if you had a very active day it's going to spend a lot of time doing that जब ये कार्य पूरा हो जाता है ना दैट होल प्रोसेस इज ओवर देन योर ब्रेन कैन डू गो इन टू डीप स्लीप सो योर बॉडी इज इंड्यूस्ड इन टू डीप स्लीप यू गेट दैट एंड दैट हैपेंस इन द अर्ली आवर्स ऑफ द मॉर्निंग द थ्री फोर आवर्स दैट यू गेट वेरी डीप स्लीप जब ड्रीम्स भी नहीं आते हैं कभी कभी ये डीप स्लीप में आप डेल्टा या तीथा वेव में जाते हो they are very slow waves guys they are like just very very less brain activity wo time pe aapki jo electrical energy hoti hai jo brain mein nahi use ki jati hai wo sharir mein cells ko regenerate karne ko repair karne ko mane pura din apne muscles use kiye apne digestion process use ki to toxicity jo hai usko nikalne ke liye all right it fetches and repairs tissues which have to be repaired it takes nutrients to the right places so your body gets into a repair and restoration mode all right you are with me so far and when you wake up if you had a good uh, last phase of deep sleep you will feel refreshed and your mind will be fresh there are mornings when you wake up and you say like wow i can do anything अभी ये जो पूरे ब्रेन का साइकिल होता है ये साइकिल अगर नहीं बना रहता है तो यू विल सफर अ लॉट बिकॉज यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू टैप द फुल पोटेंशियल ऑफ योर ब्रेन ऑफ योर थिंकिंग ऑफ योर कॉग्निशंस ऑफ योर रैशनलाइजेशन सो ऑब्वियसली योर वर्क इज अफेक्टेड दैट इज वाई पीपल हु हैव अ गुड स्लीप साइकिल हैव अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल लाइफ दे आर एबल टू थिंक बेटर देन यू एन मी they are able to reason better they are able to take better decisions they are more clear in their mind they have less emotional issues 
उनकी लाइफ में स्ट्रेस आता है तो वो स्ट्रेस को डील कर पाते हैं अगर आपने एक चीज देखी जब आप गुस्सा होते हो और कोई आपको कुछ अच्छी चीज भी बोले ना तो आप उसको तुरंत ही रिजेक्ट कर देते हो कभी कभी तो पूरी सुनते भी नहीं हो पाते लेट हो गए कुछ काम के लिए राइट एंड योर मम टेल्स यू समथिंग और योर टेल्स यू समथिंग यू जस्ट थ्रो देम ऑफ यू से लिसन नॉट नाउ ये बट आई एम टेलिंग यू टेक अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ मनी विथ यू बिकॉज यू नीड इट ऑन द वे शी वॉज ट्राइंग टू हेल्प यू बट वट यू कैन से ए माम जस्ट स्टॉप इट यू नो गिव मी अ ब्रेक why because you didn't even you didn't even rationalize you didn't even think you didn't even open yourself to think that there could be something else behind it before somebody says something you're upset you're not able to deal with your emotions you're not able to deal with your anxiety you get immediately into a state of you know reaction at that time if you cannot hear something you can't get opportunities in life opportunities come to people who are open so that you need to be slightly more calm so these are so many different possibilities what i need you to know is your brain has different patterns okay and to maintain these patterns for the right activity you have to know how your body and your brain functions okay abhi ye jaan to liya ye gyan aa gaya ki alpha hai beta hai theta hai aur deep sleep ka delta hai abhi isko apply kaise karenge अप्लाई करने के लिए एक ही चीज है कि अगर आप राइट right टाइम पे सोते हो और अच्छी सरकमस्टांसिस में सोते हो तो नींद की क्वालिटी अलग होती है और ये नींद की क्वालिटी अगर अलग हुई देन यू वेक अप इन अ डिफरेंट मोड ऑल टूगेदर यू कैन वेक अप अर्ली एंड बी फ्रेश क्योंकि सुबह चार बजे उठ के इफ यू लुक लाइक अ गोस्ट एंड यू मूव अराउंड लाइक अ जोम्बी दर नो पॉइंट गो बैक टू स्लीप पीपल बट इफ यू वेक अप एंड यूर ऑन योर फीट एंड यूर रेडी टू गो एट्स अ होल डिफरेंट बॉल गेम ओके वाई वाई इज इट सो इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज नेचर हैज अ साइकिल हैव यू सीन दिस इट्स इन साइंस इट इज कॉल्ड द सिकार्डियन रिदम हमारे बॉडी जो uh the the matter which our body is made of and the energy which circulates in our body you know you're all smart enough to know that energy is uh transformed into matter and matter can be converted into energy and there's very little threshold between the two that's what quantum science tells you we can do something on quantum science one day if you guys are interested i don't have a lot of time to do that right now but i would love to do that basically energy and matter are interchangeable and your body is energy and matter okay now if you can't if you can't you know have a rhythm of sleep and waking hours which is in accord with nature and the seasons you know what it's like trying to swim up river you're going to waste a lot of energy you're going to waste a lot of time and believe me you guys don't have time none of us have enough time so it is not a question of how much time you have it is a question of how efficient you are in the time you have if you are efficient then you will feel like you have all the time in the world okay you get that the story of time management ends there it's not a question of how much time it is a question of how efficiently you can use the time you have 5 minute mein aap puri cheez kar sakte ho jo aap 1 ghante mein nahi kar sakte if you are not in shape Are we okay with that? Do you agree with that? Any comments? Okay, no comments. Anshuman, any comments? Okay. Can't hear you. You muted yourself. Uh, I I hope you are able to see them on your screen. Um I just highlighted them. Uh okay I can see it very well. Maybe the screen is not the stream one you've got hold on. Can you read it out? I can't see it's on the right side is yeah. it? Yeah. Yes ma'am. Can you, you just... just switch to comments. You might Anyway you just keep saying them and that way you'll also see something. Yaar ye to monologue ho raha hai. Okay. 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 Uh so Vikram Rajput is asking what is the correct time for sleep? He's okay. asking this time. 
all right so vikram the correct time for sleep is when you have finished with your day and when the night is not too old i mean when it's a still early in the night why because in the night when the sun goes down your body kicks in its parasympathetic nervous system the absence of light does something to your nerves and your body and what it does is it tells the body okay now it's time to go for a rest and this is with nature everywhere you see animals and abhi corona ke time pe jo you could have observed the birds and animals around you right more than before to aapne dekha hoga ki sham ke ek waqt pe jaise chidiya there is a whole activity in nature and everything starts settling down isn't it so that is the time you have to start preparing to go to bed and preparing to go to bed is as important as going to bed so you need to start getting in shape one of the things is to eat early eat your food slightly early don't please ever eat too late in the night it's it's disastrous for your body so you want to maintain a good physical condition you should eat slightly earlier keep some time before sleep and sleep not too late and if late for you is like i mean 9 10 is like really limit and i know that it sounds weird in today's world when you tell people sleep at prime time they'll laugh at you but i would like you to experiment for the next 4 days i want to really call you in to experiment and i'll leave my whatsapp number i mean anshuman has my whatsapp number guys you can contact him two days you sleep right rhythm and two days you do it completely opposite like youtube till late in the night okay binge watch whatever you want to binge watch and see how you wake up in the morning and make your own observations it's not so complicated right i'm i'm sure most of you know it but if you don't try that early sleep now sleep without sound so keep it silent keep sleep in the dark keep the light away and sleep after having eaten your food for a little while do you get it what will happen is you will be able to find a whole different quality of sleep and then when you wake up in the morning we'll do what we call a small session of meditation which i'll make you experiment right now so please understand i hope that answers the questions for our friend any other question yes ma'am uh, shimi sharma is asking what to do if we have habit of staying awake at night how to change that ha uh, habit of staying awake at night can change very easily one day you have to take a decision that today i'll sleep early okay and that day when you sleep early and you wake up early please don't take a nap in the afternoon go out and do some physical exercise you'll get tired enough to sleep and sleep early next day morning i'll tell you you can wake up early on your own and once you set that in place keep doing it for a few days you will automatically keep a rhythm so when your parasympathetic nervous system starts really working in the evening your body starts sending blood and oxygen to the organs so your whole activity will be different in the body when the sympathetic nervous system is activated when the sun rises it is time for activity and that is the time when your body sympathetic nervous system kicks in which starts sending signals that you have to go out and do something so your legs your arms all these receive more blood and more oxygen that is why the best time to meditate and study is early morning before the sun rises you must have heard this before but that's because you have these two nervous systems which are very active and very 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 well balanced the human system is a miraculous engineered amazing i wouldn't even call it a machine it's a system because we don't know how to tap its potential we make a lot of messes in our life but if we knew how to do it 
it will give you returns like you won't imagine you know i just saw a japanese man run a iron man you know iron man iron man i watched this thing i'm so fascinated by it it's like a whole marathon where you have uh, i don't know how many uh, 200 kilometers of cycling then immediately you go into running for the next 42 kilometers like a marathon and then Oh sorry you start with swimming you start with the first lap of 7 8 km of a swim then you go on the bicycle for 200 km and then you go for a 42 km marathon all in one stretch people do this it takes them almost 26 hours to do this at a stretch sometimes it really goes long and they don't rest they don't sleep they don't eat they do this non stop and i saw a guy from japan 85 year old man who finishes it some pe- people most don't compete in it to come first people compete in it to just finish it to make it to the finish line our own guy what's his name milin soman has been trying desperately i don't know if he did an iron man or maybe he did one but it's the best athletes in the world and at 85 this man is doing it how does he do it mind over matter people and if you can't even manage your mind what are you going to manage time because once you are efficient then see how you use your time even when you are gaming you will be a better gamer okay and it matters i mean you know you want to be a good gamer okay go on anshuman any other question yes ma'am reena sethi is asking uh, time management is quite difficult for people how effectively we manage so that is the question we'll come to now when i teach you how to do meditation okay hmm acha meditation is not something these uh people tell you you know that it is meant for uh, i mean yeah you heard all the stuff about it right spiritual stuff ye wo but do you know today the most successful people in the world are using meditation as the primary tool to success you know and you know how i read about navy seals you know the most elite um army in the world with the us right you have heard of the mossad you have heard of top performance athletes you've heard of people who go to the the moon you know who need high performance you know super concentration guess what meditation is how they are doing it and believe me it sounds like a banal common term everybody is talking meditation meditation yaar ye kya hota hai meditation karte kyu hai meditation kiske upar meditation karte hain aur baithe rehte hain ek ghante ke liye aankh band karke but you know google just opened one of the biggest meditation labs on their campus with the best and the highest science machinery to tap and to experiment and to look at the states because when you meditate you go into deep states of brain activity like you are in deep sleep and what it gives you is amazing it gives you a calm it gives you focus you know focus is so difficult with machines if you have this digital screens in front of you people you are looking at two three things at a time your energy is being depleted you are no longer capable of deep study your brain is no longer wired there are certain concepts no matter how hard you try you'll never understand them you might be the most brilliant iq in the world but you won't get that place or to the place where you will have a deep understanding of things because your brain's been wired to focus on too many things at the same time and that's what digital world does to us so for me to tell you that the only way to manage is to be able to balance within to calm yourself within to stop that noise okay when we meditate right now i'll ask you your experience and i think we'll go into meditation now because i really want to demonstrate it for you instead of just speaking we'll try and calm our brain and see how it happens we'll get into our heart which is a brain of its own which has neurons and which is the most important brain in the human system more on that later if you're interested let us try this okay so i'll i'll lead you into meditation for a few minutes and you'll see for yourself what i mean by efficiency okay uh, ma'am a few questions are coming uh, okay. like uh, one chap is asking do bhajan scary alpha waves depends in which vibratory mode because it is a question of frequency there are bhajans which are sung by you know artists who can make a lot of sound but it's not music a lot of noise but it's not music 
there is a certain frequency which opens the alpha possibility so only those i have a list of them i'll send them to you i'll share them with our friend anshuman who can share them with all of you okay not everything like you know in indian classical ragas there are ragas for the morning there are ragas to lift your mood there are ragas which have a certain effect on the body you know so also on the mind so it's a very specific science it's not just any science right it's not the words that matter more it's the musical frequency and the vibration so i'll share that with you okay go ahead uh, how to concentrate on one thing same thing concentration will happen when you are able to balance your inner self and that is being able to close your eyes and if you are able to manage your thoughts managing thoughts means what right now i can manage my thoughts okay ekta is ekta talking we are listening to her it's good you know life is great i'm sitting on a chair and all but imagine right now you are under sudden stress you're getting a phone call from somebody you don't want to talk to that person's calling you and you're trying to focus on what i'm saying is it going to happen it's not going to happen you'll be distracted immediately right are you able to manage even one phone call are you able to even manage somebody looking at you right now walking past you very difficult right so what is it that you manage in your world nothing you control nothing you are just subject to your world you think you control things but the day it gets out of hand you are thrown off balance and that's when life can change but if you can maintain the balance and that is the art of meditation that is the art of conquering the inner landscape telling that voice if i tell you to keep quiet that voice will keep quiet otherwise it's a non stop chatter right so this is what we learn in meditation and it's not it's not a, it's not something you learn in one day it's a practice which you do every day it's like breathing now you breathe every day you can say okay i'll breathe my oxygen i've done it you know it's all the time guys so it's like every day practice because it keeps you in measure to be behind the driving wheel otherwise it's like your car if there's nobody driving it folks it goes where it wants to and that's not funny so you want to get behind the driving wheel of your life you need to be able to control and master your mind and your thoughts for that you need meditation and without it even sleep is not possible okay so let's get back to it. any more questions before we start meditation we can how take some many, how many how many times should we meditate in a day hey that depends on you folks how many times do you do yoga in a day how many times you exercise a day how many times you take a walk me personally these days with corona it's been lovely i meditate twice a day <laughs> i do my practice of uh, which is a lovely practice in heartfulness if you guys are interested it's called cleaning that happens in the evening which is magic and i mean personally in my life it's really amazing and then i do another practice in the night but it's like wow you can meditate as this is this, is, this doesn't come with a abuse uh, you know too much of it can cause problems but i would say start with 15 minutes 20 minutes every morning slowly stretch it do it any time in the day if you can't find time in the morning anything suits you but please get on your meditation practice every day otherwise you're never going to get it okay you success will be just a freak thing that will happen to you but which can slip out like this so be careful what i'm telling you is simple every day few minutes just learn how to do it and then do it on your own nobody is there to teach you nobody is there to tell you what to do but start with a simple practice and see what it does to you okay so once a day is enough as many times a day as you want depends on you uh, okay. i fall in a i fall asleep in the state of meditation hilal shamsi is asking this is the same problem what i face you also feel that okay good uh, while you know meditating <laughs> usually we feel asleep like we feel asleep but uh, i don't think so we are in a sleeping mode at that time okay so no you're not in a sleeping mode or you could be because i hear a lot of people snore during meditation you know of course now corona we don't meditate together but there are times when people meditate with us and sometimes some people are so sleep deprived ki wo ne soye nahi hai और सोए है तो डीप स्लीप में गए नहीं है तो बॉडी उसकी इतनी थकी हुई है माइंड उसका इतना थका हुआ है 
कि उसको जैसे ही ये मेडिटेशन में डीप रिलैक्सेशन महसूस होता है वो इमीजिएटली स्नोर करने लगते हैं माने सोने लगते हैं इतना गहराई में सो जाते हैं है ना तो पूरा अलग सा म्यूजिक आ जाता है मेडिटेशन हॉल में तो यू हैव टू वेक दम आप समझ कि भैया यार घर जाके सोया करो बट इट हैपन्स वाई बिकॉज यू स्लीप डिप्राइव सो वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज स्लीप वेल इन द नाइट and practice meditation with a fresh mind not when you finished everything or koi kaam nahi hai to meditation karte hain tab ja ke so jaoge which is actually anshuman actually if you want to fall asleep lie down and think you are meditating or immediately you will fall asleep it's a good technique the other way around jinko insomnia ka problem hai wo log ye use kar sakte hain mane late late meditation karoge na to so jaoge aur achhi bhi neend bhi aa jayegi lekin aap baithe ho acha कई बार ऐसा होता है कि आप सोच रहे हो आप मेडिटेशन कर रहे हो ठीक है आप बैठे हो आप मेडिटेशन में हो और आंख खुली एंड ओनली अ फ्यू मिनट्स हैव गॉन यू फील लाइक अरे पांच मिनट ही हुआ रहा फोन घड़ी देखी फोन देखा तो अरे एक घंटा हो गया सो व्हेन यू आर इन मेडिटेशन योर परसेप्शन ऑफ टाइम चेंजेस एंड इन दैट स्टेट यू फील यू आर अस्लीप बट यू आर जस्ट इन टीथा और डेल्टा एंड चेक करना है कि मैं सोया था या मैं गहरी मेडिटेशन में था तो उसके बाद अपना हाल देखो अगर हेड आपको हैवी लग रहा हो आपको अंदर हैवीनेस महसूस हो रही है ना तो यू आर स्लीपिंग इफ यू फील लाइट एंड फ्रेश यू आर मेडिटेटिंग व्हाट सीम्ड लाइक स्लीपिंग सो देर अ लिटिल चेक यू कैन डू ऑन योर सेल्फ राइट एंड देर नो हार्म सो गए तो वापिस मेडिटेशन करना एक कप चाय पी के वापिस करो नो प्रॉब्लम बट एटलीस्ट यू हैड अ गुड स्लीप नॉट अ बैड आइडिया Okay. Great. So, uh, I don't think there are any more further questions. Let's go for meditation. In case uh, there are other questions, yes, we'll take them later. Hmm? Ha! How, how much time do you give me? We have uh, time. We can continue. Okay. Great. So please, uh, I invite you to a few. I mean, let's just say a few ten minutes of meditation. I won't make you meditate a lot today. Give it your best, and. don't worry if you feel you are off balance or whatever we'll be will be there you know we'll be there to talk about it etc don't worry just remember this is a fun thing approach it with an open mind let's see what happens so how many of you acha no harpreet bhai asked a question how many of you meditated before some of you did right so for those of you who never meditated before this is a fun thing that you're going to do okay let's start okay so close your eyes yes to meditate we need to close our eyes you know i'll also close my eyes because even i am going to help you to meditate from where i am doing my best okay so follow my voice close your eyes and relax don't worry about how you are seated where you are seated if possible just make sure that you're seated in a position that's super comfortable if you need to shift around a bit and get comfortable please do so if you're on a chair you want a cushion go pull that cushion put it behind your back if you want to adjust your legs by all means this is the time okay if you can sit in a cross legged position great If you cannot you can be seated in a chair and your legs can be on the ground you can be on a sofa you can be in a bed only thing is i really request you not to be lying down please be seated for meditation you can bend your knees you can bend your back a little bit the whole point is that while we are meditating your body should not be a disturbance so just relax into that feeling of the body being completely at ease as you felt during the relaxation check in with your body see is there anything that is tense relax it check your neck soften your face soften your fingers allow your full weight to be released into the chair or the sofa or wherever you are sitting let go of that your breath is becoming slower 
more relaxed, wonderful. Now imagine that you're letting go of everything thus far, your day so far, all that you've heard, you're trying desperately to remember everything we said. Right now, just release everything. Give yourself permission. You've shown up to meditate, and you're going to try something exciting, something new. So give yourself fully to this experiment. Amazing. As you slow down, start getting into a place of stillness. Stop moving your body. Your eyes become soft and gently closed. Bring your awareness, your attention towards the place where you feel your heart is beating. Imagine that your mind is just unplugged. You switched it off for a few minutes. You can hear the sounds around you, but they don't bother you. Just let go of everything thus far. And no need to worry about the day to come, the rest of the work to come today. That will happen right now. Let us be in the present moment and start becoming still. Find that place, your heart, where all your feelings come. And as you imagine your heart, think that it is filled with a beautiful light, a presence. Imagine that you are in complete security and safety in your heart. And this beautiful presence, this luminous presence has its source in your heart. It is shining from within your heart. Allow this light to take over, to completely absorb you. And watch. Just be there. As we meditate, in a few minutes, in silence, if at all you start wandering into thoughts, that's OK. It's natural to have thoughts. Don't worry. Try and come back to the heart. Say, oh. I was meditating, just remind yourself gently and come back to the heart, but very gently. Please, there is no need for us to force anything, no need to use anything like force or concentration. We are just having fun, we're just being light. So as soon as you can, just come back to the heart and feel this light there. Let us begin a few minutes of trying to stay afloat in this light. Vichar, koi bhi vichar aaye, uski chinta mat karna. Bas dheere se apna dhyan hum radai pe leke aaye, aur yehi pe rahe. Aur radai jaise ek prakash se puri tarah se bhara hua hai. Is anubhav mein khud ko bas kho jane de. Let us start meditation, please. I will tell you when it is time to stop. Till then, just try doing this for a few minutes. Let's start.
Okay. <clears throat> Gently open your eyes. Take a few moments. As you open your eyes and come back to the present, notice how you feel. See if there's anything that is going on within you. Come out of your meditation gently. There's no need to rush. Can you give some words to the feelings that you're having right now? Take note of those words. How are you feeling? Is there anywhere that you felt something specific? Were you able to stay with that feeling in your heart? How is your breath now? How is your stance? How is your feeling? Notice all these things as you gently come out of meditation. Okay, does anybody want to share something? Mm -hmm. Is anybody saying something? Uh, you're muted, I'm sure. Receiving response from people. We have Sapna Harit. It was working. I was listening sound of my breath. Fantastic. Excellent. Very calm. It is something which is very helpful and awesome thinking to change our daily lifestyles. Mm. Okay, Wish so to is... join you later. Oh, Need okay. your contact number. Great. A lot, uh -huh. many such comments. Uh, okay, very good, very good. <laughs> Anybody can share how they felt during meditation? Anything other than that? Any specificities about the feelings? No? Okay. Good. So we can do more. This is just a taste, okay? It's like walking into an ice cream parlor and taking one spoon of each flavor and saying, Acha, abhi. Lekin khana to baki hai na? To, <laughs> hum aapko invite karenge ke hum har flavor ko achhi tarah se chakhe aur fir khaye bhi pura. So there is so much to be had. This is a domain where you can grow, grow, grow and grow and there is no limit. It's just beautiful. You know, guys, I shouldn't be saying this because I'm generally a very optimist and positive thinking person. But I feel right now that, you know, it's like Game of Thrones. I mean, I don't know if you watch Game of Thrones. I'm a total Game of Thrones fan. And like winter is coming. And you know that times are not fun. So we need you. We need you to be a strong generation because you're going to lead the world into the future. And in a future where things are going to be not easy, I really need to depend on you as a generation. We look up to you guys. We know that you're strong because you're born into a world which is so difficult to live in. And you're wise beyond your years already. I see a lot of positivity in this generation and I salute all of you. I really feel that together we can make a different world. Um, Anshuman, tell me if I'm not crossing my time, please. Because Ayush is already here and I'd love to hand over. So, and listen to you also. I'm pretty excited to listen to you, so. Sure. 
Thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Ekta. Honestly, uh, I've actually been associated with heartfulness myself uh, before. Uh, I'm I'm sure you you know about the Youth 2.0, the workshop that happened. Yeah, I've heard of it. Yes, it was uh, also one of the speakers there. So I have actually been following uh, your work, and it's <laughs> an honor to be actually on the same side as you. Oh come on, kids, <laughs> you know I tell you what that all stuff is like. You know, I find these. can i be honest with you i find these webinars so strictly uh, formal i mean if you could get yeah. in it informal okay i saw something very funny today i must tell you this before i leave because sure, all that formal sure. stuff now over okay so i put it on my facebook page it's but i don't know if it went to everybody there mm-hmm. is this company in uk and that's why i ask all of you to be slightly more innovative and be a little bit you know like take things into your hands okay there's this company in the uk which has a farm which has animals that they you know kind of help okay donkeys and cats and cows and all and people visit this farm and they pay some entrance fee and that's how they make a finance i mean they, that's how they make their income and they feed all these stray animals that they collect okay abhi to corona ke time pe pura band ho gaya to kaise karenge so they invented a new thing they took this donkey who's just so cute his name is buckwheat and buckwheat the donkey goes on zoom meetings okay and he's hired right. for and it's so cute <laughs> So it suddenly like three of us are talking and suddenly you see the donkey come on. Okay, because <laughs> Anshuman has paid five dollars so that they can bring the donkey and he looks so cute and he's just there and everybody's formality and seriousness and boring stuff gets broken for five minutes and you visit the farm and you know it's a totally different experience. So people are having innovative ideas and they are earning now. They have had hundred calls, hundred Zoom calls where they went into companies and you know. <laughs> yeah i'm thinking you guys own the world and if you can take these tools i'm thinking that people like us are giving you and just you know run with it you know you'll be your own masters you'll be your own heroes like harpreet was saying and believe me the heroes of this world are not the heroes of the next world okay so there's a lot to achieve and winter is coming but when winter comes the heroes rise So I look forward to you, and I look forward to all you Ned Starks out there, and you know all you John Snows. This is the time, okay, to make it happen. We'll be there. I, I, Anshuman, whenever you want to share my phone number, you can do that. I'm available. Sure, sure. Okay, I have a class, an online class sure. I run for meditation, but a very informal one. Ah, six thirty, six forty in the morning for those of you who want to, and join me on the Zoom call. It's my Now morning time, I spend time with people who I practice with. So six or six forty, you can practice with me meditation. Six forty to seven fifteen. Otherwise, there is something called the Hearts app, which is available for everyone. You can log on to that and just find a trainer online, and it's easy. So there you go. All the best, and if you enjoyed this, don't stop here. This is the beginning. Start doing, and thank you for inviting me. See you then. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. uh next we have with us mr suyesh varma uh sir is the crew leader and corporate trainer at blue horn company bengaluru sir is a true example of a self made man who started his career as a sales trainee and achieved this height he is also a fundraiser and an official representative of an ngo an aspiring entrepreneur and a graduate from jain university bengaluru sir is a wonderful orator and aims to grow with the handing over the mic to mr suyesh varma sir all right uh, thanks a lot anshuman uh, honestly i think you added a couple of points Yes, sir. I did. All right, all right, great. All right, well, uh, honestly, it's an honor to be here. And hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well, right? I hope everyone is in good shape. I hope everyone is in good health as well, right? I hope the lockdown has been productive. I hope you guys are making the most of this pandemic, right? And uh, moving on, right now, I'm going to be talking about how do you go about managing relations. right now i want this to be very interactive right guys please keep asking questions right please keep giving in suggestions let's talk right let's just have a one on one conversation right now before i proceed guys again i am not 
uh you know a, a professional myself i have never had the smoothest relations uh myself right i have also learned over a period of time right and i'm sure because of this pandemic and because of this lockdown we have all had a lot of uh complications in relationships that we already have right i'm sure a lot of relation got worse i'm sure a lot of them also got better because of this pandemic right now what exactly is a relation uh, right now according to me when about two or more people are connected to each other that what that's what makes it a relation right and the way i see it there are two kinds of relations one is a one sided right and the second being a mutual relation right basically if any one has an impact on your life in any way it's a relation right now in a one sided uh, relations can be relations with your musicians all right orators writers superheroes actors right they have an impact on you that's a one sided relation they do not exactly know your existence the second one being a mutual relation right wherein uh you have your relations with your parents your friends your colleagues your teachers your partner your girlfriend or your boyfriend right and now let's 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 take up an example here right now when i say two or more people are connected now i'm sure all of you guys are part of a group of friends right now all together your group everybody is connected to each other right but at the grassroot level your relation with each person individually is what keeps you all together right i hope you guys get my point and why is it important to keep a healthy relation what happens when this group of friends two of you all have an unhealthy relationship what happens the group tends to split up it causes misunderstandings right things get messed up right in other words uh, uh, people start choosing sides and do we really like that not really right and yeah so moving on right now i'm going to give you certain points and i would appreciate if you could just write these down right i'm going to give you some tips on how do you go out maintaining relations right now the first point right give people your time right first point give people your 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 time right your time is the biggest gift that you can give someone right you got to give your time during this pandemic especially right since you cannot physically go out and meet people you got to give them your time over calls over messages right over video calls however you can uh, you know go out and give your time right it's it's not just about being present physically you have to be there right now let me explain this point a little deeper with an example right let's say there is there there's a couple and they have a child right uh what happens is the couple is the parents are probably a little busy with their work they are a little stressed out with their finances right what happens to them they are not able to give the child a lot of time right what happens when they don't they're not able to do that what happens to the child the child kind of forms a bubble right the child kind of gets a little distant right so every time right your time can honestly increase or boost a person's morale to the skies right and it's the biggest gift you can give anybody right now in these situations in the current situations with the pandemic going on right i'm sure uh, a lot of you guys have more time with your families now but less time with your friends and partners or some of you guys i'm sure have more time with your friends and partners and less time with your family those of you guys uh, you know who stay away from home in different cities right but what happened back when the pandemic wasn't there when the pandemic wasn't around right things were pretty much the other way around right you were there you were outside you were probably not at home so much 
right you did not probably spend a lot of time with your family you were probably out most of your you were spending most of your time with your friends with your partners right now to avoid that right and now because of the pandemic since the vice versa has happened i'm sure expectations have also uh, kind of been shattered uh, from people you probably expected to be there right am i audible can you guys just type it there all right perfect cool right and 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 that basically uh, brings me to my next point right be approachable right being approachable is something which is going to be very very important in going out and maintaining any relationship in your life right any positive relationship let me put it that way right being approachable is going to be very very important right a person should feel very comfortable right you should have the ability to welcome someone who can comfortably express themselves right wherein they do not have to hesitate before they talk to you right of course i'm sure even you guys whenever you want to went out or jab aapko kuch apni feeling bahar nikalni hai aapko kuch apna gussa bahar nikalna hai right jab aapko aisi feelings aati hai andar and if you go and talk to someone jo hai emotionally available hai aapke liye jo aap jante ho ki approachable aap jaake unse khul ke baat kar sakte ho aapko kaisa lagta hai i'm sure you guys feel very light i'm sure you guys feel good after that right be that person for the others that honestly helps you go out and build a very very strong bond with people you really want these relations with right and also to add on to this do not be egoistic right having ego kind of draws the line right it it it's very easily noticeable right i'm sure all of you guys aapke kai sare aise dost rahe honge where you just look at them and you're like ha yaar bande mein bahut ego hai mere ko isse baat nahi karni right i'm sure all of you have experienced this right don't be that person easy ego is a very easily noticeable thing and it pushes people away right ego is something which pushes people away right so do not have that factor within you right and that brings me to my next point uh being all ears right being a very very good listener right now again guys as i spoke uh, earlier right just being physically present with someone is honestly not going to be very very beneficial right being just physically present there wherein the person is not able to speak to you so much is not going to work out at all right you have to be a very very good listener aapko aapke listening skills should be on point to go out and actually understand what a person is trying to tell you right you guys should try to put yourself in their shoes aap unki nazariye se dekhiye cheeze ko right aap aap us tarah se apna thought process banaye ki you can relate to someone right be it a happy emotion a sad emotion jo bhi hua hai right go out and try to put yourself in their shoes now again i understand that probably jo cheeze samne wale ko khush karti hain वो शायद आपको खुश ना करे जो चीजें आपको सैड करती है वो शायद सामने वाले को सैड ना करे राइट फॉर समन हु गेमर उनका अगर पी एस फोर टूटता है तो उसको बुरा लगेगा आप अगर गेमर नहीं हो आपको बोलेगा कि क्या है इतनी सी चीज के लिए रो रहा है बट इमेजिन इफ यू वर अ गेमर आपका पी एस फोर टूटा तो आपको कैसा लगेगा आई होप यू गैस गेट मी राइट सो प्लेसिंग योर सेल्फ इन the person's shoes paying attention to what they are talking about right kai bari kya hota hai ki koi humse baat karne aata hai someone is talking to us aur hum log kya kar rahe hain phone pe lage hue hain kya kar rahe hain distracted hain kuch aur hi soch rahe hain yaar is match mein kya hoga us match mein kya hoga is bande ki life mein kya chal raha hai right all of these things we're distracted what happens when you're distracted you're not a good listener and trust me nobody likes a person who is not a good listener right i'm sure a lot of you guys would have had a lot of break breakups as well just because you guys did not listen to your partner's problems right so be there right don't jump to conclusions when you when when you're listening to a person right lot of times hota kya hai 
कि जब आप किसी की सुनते हैं तो आप प्रॉबली कुछ और परसीव कर लेते हो राइट right? आप प्रॉबली समझ नहीं पाते हो कि वो बंदा कहना क्या चाह रहा है बंदी कहना क्या चाह रही है राइट यू डोंट प्रोबली परसीव इट राइट एंड वट है कंक्लूजन कि अरे यार हाउ केन यू से दिस राइट हाउ केन यू डू दिस हाउ केन यू डू दैट राइट डोंट बी दैट पर्सन अंडरस्टैंड प्लेस योर सेल्फ इन दर शूज अगेन राइट ट्राई टू कम अप विथ सोल्यूशन डोंट ट्राई टू गो आउट एंड आर्ग्यू विद दम राइट जब आप सुनते हो तब क्या होता है यू नो वॉट एग्जैक्टली टू आंसर टू द पर्सन इज वेल राइट यू लर्न हाउ टू एक्सप्रेस योर सेल्फ राइट एंड दैट एग्जैक्टली ब्रिंग्स मी टू माई नेक्स्ट पॉइंट विच इज डेवलप योर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स राइट एंड अब आपने हुएवर यू आर स्पीकिंग टू नाउ यू लिसन टू द पर्सन राइट नाउ दैट यूर डन लिस्निंग टू दम यू हैव टू रिस्पॉन्ड अकॉर्डिंगली you cannot just respond in any way you want right you cannot just jump to a conclusion as i said and just you know uh, go out and just say whatever you want right things don't work that way right that way no relation is going to last ever and trust me on this right so you know whenever you're going out whenever you listen to the person never overthink the situation point number 1 never ever overthink the situation what happens when you overthink the situation you come up you you become very hasty you become very chaotic aapko kuch samajh nahi aata hai fir aap kya karte ho turant kuch bhi whatever you feel right at that moment you just do it things don't work that way right your communication should be such that you respond accordingly to the person right and for that first of all you again have to be a good, very good listener second of all now with communication right now when i talk about incre- improve your communication skills honestly just pay attention to what you say right poor communication can lead to backstabbing i'm sure aap log ke sath hua bhi hoga log ja ke aapke peet piche bakwas kar dete hain राइट right? aapko jo jo acha nahi lagta hai right it leads to a betrayal it leads to uh you know poor communication also leads to stress right poor communication also leads to stress aap agar itna kuch karne ke baad when you are also putting in you know so many so much efforts in a person but just because your communication is not that good just because uh, uh you know uh, you're not able to put your point across probably you're not able to respond correctly probably that leads to a lot of problems as well right a lot of relations shatter just because of that right and uh you know i'm sure it's it's easy bolne mein aasan hota hai ye sab right ye sab bolne mein aasan hota hai ki aap ye sa ye is tarah se suno is tarah se respond karo soch ke respond karo ye sab bolne mein bahut aasan hota hai karne mein alag baat hai right so guys please you know whenever you go out and do that right it'll really really help you out if you could just learn how to communicate properly right learn how to express your love for someone learn how to express the care for someone a lot of times hota hi hai just because hum log express nahi kar pate samne wale ko kabhi pata hi nahi chalta hai ki hum log usse pyar karte hain hum log unse uh, you know hum log unki chinta karte hain right right uh, a, a lot of times like i i myself being an introvert have been through this problem wherein i had to really push myself to go out and express something right whether it's your parents aapke maa baap se aap kabhi kabhi bol nahi pate ho ki you know i love you uh, aap kabhi kabhi apne doston ko utna appreciation nahi de pate ho uh, when moments when they're uh, been there राइट right? आप ये सारी चीजें नहीं हो पाती हैं एंड आई अंडरस्टैंड होता है सो जिस वर्क ऑन दिस कॉन्शियसली एंड ऑनेस्टली इल रियली रियली हेल्प यू आउट राइट नाउ ऑल्सो गाइज आई जिस वॉन्ट टू थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन एन अदर एस्पेक्ट राइट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू गाइज आई एम श्योर हम लोग सब ने ये एक्सपीरियंस किया होगा दैट वी हैव प्रोबली लेट गो ऑफ सम रिलेशन बिकॉज ऑफ सम न्यू रिलेशन दैट हैव कम इन and it's completely natural it's human nature there is something called as a new toy syndrome agar aapne suna hoga to right a uh, new toy syndrome mein kya hota hai ki aap agar ek bacche ko ek khilona dete ho to wo bachcha us khilone ke sath khelega but aap do din baad ek naya khilona uske samne la ke rakh dete ho 
तो क्या होता है वो बच्चा पूरा पहले वाले खिलौने को भूल जाता है राइट एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड द न्यू टॉय सिंड्रोम एंड गेस वॉट एवरी ह्यूमन बींग ऑन दिस प्लान हैज दिस सिंड्रोम तो कई बार क्या होता है कि आप अपने वो पुराने रिलेशन विच प्रोबेबली कुड बिकम इन टू समथिंग ग्रेटर आई एम श्योर लॉट ऑफ यू गाइज वुड प्रॉब्लली रियलाइज दीज थिंग्स आफ्टर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम कि दोज रिलेशन विच प्रॉब्लली मैटर्ड एंड यू लेट दम गो बिकॉज ऑफ समन एल्स राइट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ अस हैव प्रॉबली फॉट विद आर पेरेंट्स राइट लेफ्ट आर हाउसेज राइट हैव डन अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू गो आउट एंड एक्सप्रेस uh our our uh, you know and just because uh, we just found something new which was something just more exciting and again it's nothing wrong it happens we're all humans right apne aap ko you know demean karne ki koi zarurat nahi hai it's okay but again just take conscious effort into you know going out and improving these things they will really really help you out right and the next point guys uh learn to trust more राइट आई एम नॉट सेंग कि सब पे भरोसा कर लो राइट right? कोई भी आपको बुद्धू बना के चला जाएगा नॉट सेंग दैट बट लर्न टू ट्रस्ट मोर वॉट डू आई मीन बाय दैट इज टेक पीपल ऑन देयर फेस वैल्यू राइट लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स क्या होता है ना कि सम पीपल हैव देयर स्टोरीज विच सीम वेरी फिक्शनल टू यू विच सीम वेरी अनबिलीवेबल टू यू राइट प्रोबेबली उस इंसान को आपकी मदद चाहिए होगी बट आप क्या सोचते हो अंदर ही अंदर कि अरे यार ये तो बकवास कर रहा है यार यार ये तो कुछ भी बोल रहा है डोंट डू दैट राइट टेक पीपल ऑन देयर फेस वैल्यू अग्री विद पीपल राइट उनको सुनो उनको समझो राइट अग्री विद पीपल रिस्पॉन्ड अकॉर्डिंगली अगेन अगेन दैट अगेन यू नो इट्स इट्स सर्कल इट्स गिवन थिंग दैट यू हैव टू बी अ गुड लिसनर एंड यू हैव टू हैव गुड कम्युनिकेशन दैट्स प्रॉब आई थिंक द बेस ऑफ 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 वॉट रिलेशन आर आर मेड अपॉन राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट वन राइट लर्न हाउ टू टेक एंड लर्न हाउ टू गिव कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म राइट कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म में अब Again, guys, I'm sure आप सब लोग ये अग्री करोगे कि you guys have something or the other that you can learn from आपके सामने वाला person, right? You guys obviously have those people in your lives wherein आप इनसे in fact some people भी क्या आप हर किसी इंसान से कुछ ना कुछ छोटी चीज सीख सकते हो Always have a very learning mentality with these things because again आप जब क्रिटिसिज्म अगर आप ले नहीं सकते तो दोगे कैसे सेकंड ऑफ ऑल अगर आप क्रिटिसिज्म ले नहीं सकते तो आप मतलब आपका तो ईगो आ रहा है ना फिर बीच में एंड एज आई सेड ईगो इज समथिंग व्हिच इज बैड एंड इट्स वेरी वेरी इजीली नोटिसेबल व्हाट हैपेंस योर रिलेशनशिप्स गो डाउन द ड्रेन देन राइट आई होप यू गाइज आई आई होप यू गाइज अंडरस्टैंड राइट कंस्ट्रक्टिव क्रिटिसिज्म राइट आपको जो फीडबैक मिलता है दैट एक्चुअली हेल्प्स यू रीच दो ब्लाइंड स्पॉट जो आपको खुद नहीं पता आपके में जो कमियां हैं आप यू कैन रीच आउट टू देम एंड यू कैन प्रोबेबली डू समथिंग अबाउट इट राइट एंड अगेन इट्स वाइस वर्सा द पर्सन इज वेल शुड बी एबल टू गो आउट एंड टेक यू नो क्रिटिसिज्म फ्रॉम यू एंड इफ इज नॉट एबल टू उसको ऑनेस्टली बोलो कि यार ये ये है दिस इज दिस दिस इज दिस आई डोंट लाइक दिस आई 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 रियली अप्रिशिएट दिस एंड गो आर एंड डू दैट राइट लर्न हाउ टू डू दैट राइट द रिलेशन विल बी वेरी वेरी बेनिफिशियल बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट इन दीज थिंग्स बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट इन रिलेशन दैल रियली रियली हेल्प यू रिफाइन योर रिलेशन आपके रिलेशन स्मूथ होते जाएंगे इतने सारे रोड ब्लॉक्स इतने सारे रोड बम्प्स नहीं आएंगे आपके फिर रिलेशन में बिकॉज एवरीथिंग इज जस्ट ट्रांसपेरेंट एवरीथिंग इज वेरी ऑनेस्ट राइट एंड the next point guys right accept and celebrate differences right again i'm sure aap log sab log agree karoge ki every person that you come across in your entire life every person is different koi do log aise aaj tak paida nahi hue jo ekdam same hai ekdam copy twins are also different identical twins are also different right so you got to accept these differences you got to 
यू नो सेलिब्रेट दीज डिफरेंसेस कई बार क्या होता है अपने यू नो आर फ्रेंड्स हैव डिफरेंट हॉबीज आर आर फ्रेंड्स हैव डिफरेंट ओपिनियंस अबाउट समथिंग आपको अगर कोई चीज पसंद है इट डजेंट मीन कि दूसरे इंसान को भी वही चीज पसंद होनी चाहिए तभी मैं तुमसे दोस्ती करूंगा नहीं तो नहीं करूंगा राइट डज थिंग्स डोंट वर्क दैट वे यू गोट एक्सेप्ट पीपल फॉर हु दे आर राइट right? हर किसी में कमियां होती हैं कोई आप आपके हम हम सबके पेरेंट्स हम लोग को एक्सेप्ट करते हैं इवन तो हम में कितनी कमियां होती हैं आई होप यू गाइस अंडरस्टैंड राइट लर्न टू अप्रीशिएट दीज डिफरेंसीज डिफरेंसेस राइट लर्न टू एक्सेप्ट देम राइट अगर आप किसी इंसान से बस एक्सपेक्ट करते रहोगे कि दिस कि ये बंदा जो है ही शुड चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू मी ही शुड लाइक द सेम थिंग्स आई लाइक राइट ये चीजें बदलनी चाहिए थिंग्स विल नॉट वर्क दैट वे राइट देर शुड बी अ म्यूचुअल अंडरस्टैंडिंग हियर राइट यू एंड 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 यू नो इफ यू एक्सपेक्ट दैट पर्सन टू चेंज फॉर यू सो मच राइट दैट मीन्स दैट यू डोंट एक्सेप्ट द पर्सन फॉर हु दे आर सो माइट इज वेल्स इज ब्रेक द रिलेशन माइट इज वेल्स इज ब्रेक द बॉन्ड विद एंड मूव ऑन राइट आई होप यू गाइज गेट मी बिकॉज वट हैपन्स इवेंचुअली जब आप ये सारी चीजें एक्सेप्ट और सेलिब्रेट नहीं कर पाओगे दैट जस्ट टर्न इन टू अ टॉक्सिक रिलेशन और जब एक रिलेशन टॉक्सिक हो जाता है ना तो ट्रस्ट मी गाइज बहुत प्रॉब्लम होती है आपका पूरा यू विल बी अंडर सो मच स्ट्रेस प्रेशर आप उसी एक चीज के बारे में सोच रहे हो आपको और कुछ करने का मन ही नहीं हो रहा है राइट यू यू गेट वेरी probably uh, uh, you start procrastinating right a lot of these things aap aap focus nahi kar pate ho you cannot focus on your work right nothing seems to be working out right so again guys be very very careful with this right it's very very important to celebrate right and the next point guys consistent efforts right you got to go out and put in consistent efforts with in these relations kai bari kya hota hai ki aap efforts dal rahe ho but aap dal rahe ho efforts once in a while let's say ki aap dal rahe ho efforts you're putting very big efforts but aap kar rahe ho just once in a while hai na let's say uh, uh, you you want to probably go out and do something for your partner let's say you want to do something for your parents right aap le- and and you stay away probably and you're putting in efforts you probably had a very very long day at work and you still want to go out go go that extra mile aapko fir bhi apne parents ke sath wo thoda sa extra time spend karna aapko apne partners apne friends ke sath thoda sa wo extra time spend karna hai aap kya karte ho thake hare aap jate ho aap karte ho and then you go home you get sleep what happens in this is that great you're putting in efforts but guess what just because these efforts are not consistent they are not appreciated they are not recognized right they are not noticeable so efforts bhali aap dalo but be very consistent in them ye nahi ki ha ek saal mein ek bar jaake mil rahe hain ho gaya ek saal mein ek bar jaake kuch kar rahe hain ho gaya honestly you guys tell me will a relation last that way not really right you 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 got to go out and and you know do the same for the other person as well agar koi aap mein aise agar aap mein koi aise uh, you know efforts dal raha hai right consistent efforts dal raha hai you got to learn how to appreciate them as well wouldn't you like to be appreciated right so same thing again understand uh, appreciation and efforts should be reciprocated राइट right? अगर आप वो फीलिंग उनको रेसिप्रोकेट नहीं करोगे तो हाउ विल थिंग्स वर्क आउट राइट अगेन देर इज अंग की ताली दोनों हाथ से बचती है राइट टू टू हैंड्स मेक अ क्लैप एंड वन हैंड मेक्स अ स्लैप राइट आई होप यू गाइज अंडरस्टैंड राइट सो टेक केयर ऑफ दिस अगेन गो आउट एंड पुट कंसिस्टेंट एफर्ट्स राइट डोंट एव अ बैक डाउन अगर आपको ऑनेस्टली कोई रिलेशन चलाने का मन होता है राइट right? आपको अगर कोई चीज चाहिए होती है तो आप कैसे होते हो यू जस्ट वॉन्ट इट यू यू वॉन्ट इट यू हासिल यू गो आउट एंड यू वर्क टूअर्ड्स इट राइट हम लोग सबके बचपन में क्लास में 
हम एक क्लास में वो एक बंदा था जिसके हाथ में हमेशा एक लेजर लाइट होती थी और वो लेजर लाइट सबकी आंख में चमकाता था वेन वी सॉ दैट वॉट इड वी वॉन्ट वी ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड दैट राइट एंड वी डिड वॉट एवर टू गो आउट एंड गेट दैट इज वेल आई होप यू गैज रिलेट विद दिस राइट सो गो आउट एंड पुट इन कंसिस्टेंट एफर्ट्स टू पीपल ऑल राइट एंड नाउ दैट ब्रिंग्स मी टू माई नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एम्पथाइज विद पीपल right there's a very very big difference between sympathy and empathy right sympathy mein aap kya karte ho in sympathy you are just feeling sad for someone you are just feeling sorry for someone ki are yaar uske sath aisa ho gaya are yaar uske sath waisa ho gaya and you just leave it at that you don't you don't particularly do something about it right you don't particularly go out of your way and do something about it aapko bas बुरा लगता है किसी के लिए यार बेचारा राइट कि बेचारा क्या हो गया ये राइट वेर एज बी एम्पथेटिक टूवर्ड्स पीपल डोंट सिंपथाइज विद पीपल एम्पथाइज विद पीपल एम्पथी इज व्हाट इट्स इट्स नथिंग बट योर एबिलिटी टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड अंडरस्टैंड द अदर पर्सन बंदे में यू नो योर योर फ्रेंड हैज अ प्रॉब्लम someone is going through a problem instead of pitying them instead of feeling sorry for them try to understand them samjho ki uski life mein kya chal raha hai socho ki aap usko kaise koi solution provide kar sakte ho right apne aap ko again place yourself in their shoes understand right be be very you know uh, uh, accepting of these situations that happen around you right again guys लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स हम लोग की जिंदगी में भी हुए हैं लॉर्ड ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन इन आर लाइफ वुड वी लाइक इट इफ समन जस्ट कम्स अप टू आस यार बेचारा यार क्या हो गया वुड यू लाइक इट नॉट रियली राइट यू वुड ऑब्वियसली लाइक इट वेन समन कम्स सिट्स डाउन विद यू अंडरस्टैंड यू राइट ट्राइज टू गिव यू सोल्यूशन राइट सो बी वेरी वेरी एम्पथेटिक राइट राइट बी बी कंसिडर इट विद दीज थिंग्स राइट कंसिडर करो उनके फीलिंग्स राइट उनको उनके फीलिंग्स को अप्रीशिएट करो उनके फीलिंग्स को आप यू नो गिव देम सम वेटेज राइट लिसन टू देम राइट बी कंसिडर बी सेल्फलेस डोंट जस्ट कीप थिंकिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ कई बार क्या होता है कि अपन कोई रिलेशन संभालने जा रहे हैं अपन बात कर रहे हैं क्या बस अपने बारे में वे नॉट इवन ट्राई टू लिसन टू दर पर्सन राइट बी सेल्फलेस दैट वे राइट ट्राई टू या या ट्राई यू नो यू शुड ऑलवेज ट्राई टू मेक द पर्सन टॉक अबाउट हिज प्रॉब्लम इंस्टेड ऑफ यू जस्ट वेंटिंग आउट योर ओन आई मीन आई एम नॉट सेंग दैट इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट बट अगेन दैट दैट थॉट इट सेल्फ इज वॉट मैटर्स राइट बींग रिस्पेक्टफुल विद दीज थिंग्स राइट अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम्स ऑफ फ्रेंड्स प्रॉब्लली हैव सम एम्बेरसिंग मोमेंट्स एम्बेरसिंग प्रॉब्लम इट्स ओके बी रिस्पेक्टफुल ऑफ दोज थिंग्स हेल्प दम आउट हमेशा हंसी मजाक में काम नहीं चलता है i hope you guys get me right and one more point that i'd like to add i i hope i have time anshuman yeah yeah we have time uh, i Are would like sure? to uh, yeah i'm sure, sure 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 go ahead go ahead yeah i would also like to join you as this sure, is sure. one of my uh, great topic i love uh, talking on such topics oh wow uh, usually what happens uh, swish mm-hmm. bhai uh, we uh, in life go through many relations like we have okay. multiple relations or if i say relations among uh, like we have girlfriends we have boyfriends uh, mm-hmm. we are somebody's brother and uh, most of the relations uh, which uh, uh, just move for long are made in schools only करेक्ट लाइक जितने भी हमारे अच्छे रिलेशंस होते हैं जो हम कहते हैं यस 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 फॉर से फ्रेंड्स फॉर एवर और से वो यादगार रहने वाला प्यार बिल्कुल पहला प्यार पहली मोहब्बत तो ऑल दो थिंग्स वी जस्ट गेट देम व्हेन वी आर इन स्कूल यस और वो जो एक पल होता है वो जो एक टाइम पीरियड होता है पर्टिकुलरली वो टाइम पीरियड उस टाइम पर हमें इतना लाइक इफ वी टॉक अबाउट ड्यूरिंग आवर स्कूल लाइफ तो हमको नहीं लगता था इतना कि इट इज समथिंग गोइंग गुड इट्स वेरी गुड इट विल लाइक वी यूज टू थिंक इट विल लास्ट फॉर लॉन्ग और ऐसा रहेगा वैसा रहेगा बट इट ट्रूली डज नॉट एवरी रिलेशन एंड एट सम पॉइंट आप कितना भी उसको सुधारने की कोशिश करो कितना भी कंटिन्यू करने की कोशिश करो बट 
our relations end at some point. Uh, exactly. Whether say it uh, because of some mutual understanding, or I'd say um, like we don't want to continue it in that manner. Or kafi logon ka hota they get bored. Like right. apne um, suppose kuch uh, zabardasti hote hain relations. Exactly. Uh, for say you cannot uh, kill your real brother or sister or you of cannot uh, stop that relation at any point yes. yes like if you are onto that relation you have to just carry on your life long exactly like, if you, if you have a real sister you cannot say her ke yaar mujhe ab rakhi nahi banwani hai to say hmm. we stop this relation of a brother and sister i, know. I can't yeah, yeah. be your brother anymore exactly to aisa hota hai aur क्या होता है कि जब हम लोग किसी एक रिलेशन को एक्सपेंड करने की कोशिश करते हैं उसको एक इलास्टिक की तरह खींचते हैं तो व्हाट वी यूजुअली फेस इज दैट वी आर अनेबल टू डील इट इन दैट मैनर इन व्हाट वी स्टार्टेड इट यस काफी बार uh, हमारे साथ होता क्या है कि हम लोगों ने कोई चीज शुरू किया और उसको हमने सोचा कि वील टेक इट टू दैट पॉइंट बट आई डोंट नो व्हाई वी एंड एट सम पॉइंट और वी नेवर एक्सपेक्ट दैट दिस विल एंड एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ कोर्स वी नेवर एक्सपेक्ट इट ऑफ कोर्स लाइक वाइल गोइंग लाइक आई विल शेयर एन एक्सपीरियंस आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग अ फ्यू पोएम्स फॉर डाइनर्स एंड ऑल दोस थिंग्स जस्ट आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग माय ट्वेल्थ and uh, after that yeah shairi type well, and yeah. uh, I, i i went i was in delhi uh, right. so i was there in delhi and uh, while i used to study uh, till uh, for say 2 in the night or 2:30 or i don't know what ever time it takes long to raat mein matlab padhte padhte wo ek mahol aisa banta tha wo kehte na raat andheri तो मतलब लाइक पीपल आर देयर आउटसाइड दे आर रोमिंग ऑन द रोड्स और दिल्ली में एक मतलब एनवायरनमेंट ऐसा है कि यू इफ यू गो आउट एट टू इन द नाइट यू वोंट फील इट्स नाइट पीपल आर रोमिंग हियर इन देयर टैप्स आर एंजॉइंग दे आर हैविंग पराठा चाय एंड एवरीथिंग तो वी डोंट थिंक दैट इट्स नाइट यस तो होता क्या है यूजुअली ऐसे मोड पर जब आप रहते हैं लाइक इफ यू आर समवेयर आउटसाइड अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर होम तो यू गेट योर इनर सेल्फ आउट जो आपके अंदर चल रहा होता है या वी गेट इंडिपेंडेंट और जो आपके अंदर चल रहा होता है वट एवर यू फील फ्रॉम इन वो चीज बाहर आती है ऑटोमेटिक एग्जैक्टली लाइक आई हैव नेवर बीन इन अ रिलेशन आई हैव नेवर बीन इन अ रिलेशनशिप आई डेंट हैड एनी गर्ल फ्रेंड और से You right. can't openly say it on the media. Uh, <laughs> I understand. But uh, apart from that, uh, whatever I write, whatever mm-hmm. I write, जब भी मैं लिखता हूँ अपनी कविताएं लिखता हूँ या four liners लिखता हूँ और say mm-hmm. uh, whenever I write some shairi, तो mm-hmm. एक uh, imaginary thing which mm-hmm. we think is imaginary, mm-hmm. वो चीज को लेकर के मैं लिखता हूँ. and okay. uh, what we expect is that we should uh, have such a relation what uh, i am writing like i personally feel that ke jo main likh raha hu waisa main usko uh, feel karu like i Bilkul. should have that relation uh, what i am writing here bilkul to ye cheez nahi aa pati hai kahaniyon mein hoti hai honestly kahaniyon mein hoti hai ye real life mein you can yes bilkul yes, right? we say na that real life is different from the real life exactly it is the same exactly. way That's very true. Uh, like, honestly, रात का टाइम जो आप बोल रहे हो ना दैट पोस्ट ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक वन ओ क्लॉक बड़ा डेंजरस टाइम होता है बिल्कुल Right, so they actually instead uh, 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 for some people they work out great. For some people, मतलब कई सारे लोग ये ये thoughts को लेके आगे बढ़ जाते हैं. But कई सारे लोग वहीं के वहीं रह भी जाते हैं. Right, I'm sure आपके भी कई सारे दोस्त होंगे जो रात को ये सारे thoughts में अपने uh, you know they succumb to these thoughts and eventually क्या होता है कि डिप्रेशन में चले जाते हैं कई सारे लोग कई सारे लोगों को एंगजाइटी इश्यूज होने लगते हैं कई सारे लोगों को पैनिक अटैक्स भी आने लगते हैं राइट सो आई 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 गेट वॉट यूर सेंग आई टोटली रिलेट विद दैट इज वेल रात का टाइम एंड एंड ऑफकोर्स द स्कूल वाला पॉइंट इज वेल अब स्कूल में क्या बच्चा मासूम होता है राइट वी डोंट एग्जैक्टली नो वट इज गोइंग ऑन वी थिंक ऑल ऑफ दीज रिलेशन आर गोइंग लास्ट फॉर अ लाइफ टाइम बट आई आई नो आई गेट एक्जैक्टली वॉट यूर सेंग समाइम्स रिलेशन डोंट एक्चुअली लास्ट बट अगेन आई आई Uh, don't exactly agree with the point that every relation 
यू नो एंड एट सम पॉइंट जब तक कोई यू नो अंटिल इट्स डेथ राइट आई डोंट थिंक अ रिलेशन एंड एज पर I honestly think that it's very much possible to always go out and keep that spark alive, or do something, change something or the other, and uh, you know, go out and actually maintain a healthy relation with someone. And that that's just my opinion, honestly, yeah. of that. Uh, as Harpreet Bhaiya is also there, uh, so yes. like uh, uh, Harpreet Bhaiya, I usually uh, welcome Bhaiya. Uh, I usually try to meditate uh, at night when I was in Delhi. i tried meditating like i thought that i should meditate at this time and uh, i should get a uh, sitting uh, meditation uh, by transmission so usually what happens uh, while meditating or while having a sitting uh, i used to fall asleep i used to fall asleep and uh, when i i don't know uh, that was it really a sleeping mode or was i in a deep meditation or what i don't know what the exact uh, condition was but at that point of time the things which were hitting my mind which used to hit my mind uh, were somewhat related to my past relations with the people uh, usually whenever i uh, try to meditate uh, when i am alone or when i am tense i try to meditate and at that point of time what i feel is the per- personal feeling which comes from my inner self is that i get connected with the past relations i go uh, back to my uh, last days and i just uh, think of my best friends uh, uh, like my brothers or sisters who are far away from me or uh, like when i was in delhi i used to miss my mom a lot so uh, that thing uh, used to just hit my mind and make me unstable like i usually wished to just move back from that place and get back to my home so why is it so why we face problems like if we are meditating on our inner self or we are trying to do so we get connected to our past relations why is it so well, that's a question is it yeah yeah it's a question good, from good. my side good it was a good uh, i mean seemed like a script of a movie as well matlab i could visualize <laughs> it ke okay, anshuman the hero laga hua hai uske mein In fact, I've just seen the comments. मेरे को जो आप बता रहे थे to speak in Hindi. I wish मेरे को उस time बताया होता तो क्योंकि उसमें और अच्छी तरह बात निकल सकती है क्योंकि बहुत time पे English में नहीं काम चल सकता. Okay, coming back to your question, I think you're asking multiple questions all in one. There, there are many parts to your question. Uh, let's take one question: meditation and sleep. How similar or dissimilar are they? मैं meditation करते करते सो गया. That's one question. So, okay, so what is wrong with you, brother? If you get up, you are feeling happy and you are fresh. Okay, so if you get up, you are sleeping with a good thought. So, so there is nothing wrong with it. I think we should not analyze too much. If we try to analyze, we should only be a witness or observe how do we feel after whatever, after investing time on ourselves. genuine time on ourselves and time on ourselves please don't misunderstand ke main akela baith ke bottle khol ke khol ke wo pee raha hu because that is also one part of spending time with yourself i'm not talking about that because that's a low form of intoxication i can tell you you can get a higher level of intoxication if you get the right connection because the hormones that gets ultimately hormones hi dete na ye intoxication hai to hamare andar hi hai and hormones get triggered by something why depend on something external to trigger the hormones when you have it within you and there are no side effects science batati hai sab ke side effects hai so sleep intox jo jitni sari ye cheeze hain sleep is natural agar so bhi gaya ab raat ko meditate karoge chances aap so jaoge kyunki wo actually sone ka time hai meditate karne ka time nahi hai lekin iska ye matlab nahi ki main meditate nahi karunga man kiya karo जितनी देर तक हुआ मेडिटेशन उसके बाद नींद आ गई नो प्रॉब्लम सो डोंट ट्राई टू एज लॉन्ग एज इट इज वर्किंग फॉर यू बिकॉज स्लीप इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट एज वेल नाउ इफ यू टेक इट वन लिटिल स्टेप फर्दर इन न्यूरो साइंस इफ यू गो फॉर द ब्रेन देर अल्फा वेव्स बीटा वेव्स डेल्टा वेव्स गामा वेव्स एंड आई 
मैं सबको रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा रिसर्च करो थोड़ा सा आजकल तो रिसर्च करना बहुत आसान है गूगल देवता जिंदाबाद डालो जरा उसके अंदर देखो क्या निकल के आता अल्फा वेव क्या है बीटा वेव क्या है डेल्टा वेव क्या है गामा वेव क्या है कब आती है वॉट आर दिस वॉट आर द पैटर्न ऑफ द वेव वेन वी आर इन डीप स्लीप वॉट आर द पैटर्न ऑफ वेव वेन वी आर इन डिस्टर्ब स्लीप वॉट आर द पैटर्न ऑफ वेव वेन वी आर डूइंग फुल ऑन वर्क I think this must be explored just for just for information, and then experience it and match it to the information. Maza a jayega aap log ko. You'll get another level. So this is one little. I don't think it's an answer. It's my perspective that I want to share with you because I don't have answers. I just have perspectives from my experience. Your other question was that you dream about or in this particular state. Uh, dream-like state, which is a certain wave, by the way. Out of these four waves that I've taught you, this is a certain state. It's a mental state, actually. It also is a spiritual state to be in the dream-like state. So, in dream-like state, you are wherever you are attached materially, you are going there. So, this is this is what is happening to you. Really, your dream is telling you you are attached. Not that attached. Or, हम लोग heartfulness तो किसी को नहीं बोलते कि भैया detach हो जाओ जंगलों में चले जाओ या पहाड़ों में जाके meditate करो. ये तो हम बोल ही नहीं रहे. You must work for your living, but work honestly. Enjoy the fruits of your labor and distribute it as much as you can. You must have a family. There is no better tapasya, no higher tapasya than living as a spouse. or as a parent it's a modern day tapasya you don't have to go to the mountains deliver on your material as well as look after your spiritual side so i don't know if the example was touched upon i'm sorry i had to leave and i'm very sorry suyash i i told you before i really loved the way you were talking i would have loved to hear you my recording dekhunga puri so sure, sure. there'll, be, there'll be a tremendous take away but in heartfulness hum log ye bolte hain ke You look at a bird. When does a bird fly? Can it fly on one wing? No. Ayushman. Never. Can Can a bird fly on one wing? Never, no. never, never. Yes. Yeah. No. Nope. Can a bird? No. You need nope. two wings, right? Yes. If you want to fly as a human, and I'm talking flight as an evolutionary flying, you need to have a healthy material wing. You have to have a healthy spiritual wing. Both the wings have to be healthy. you cannot leave material for spiritual you cannot leave spiritual for material you need a yes. balance you need a balance if you're not balanced there is imbalance wo maine ek gadhe ki dikhai thi na photo jo gadha khada ho gaya bechara imbalance ho gaya overload ho gaya uske cart pe kyun hua kyunki roots ko to humne seencha hi nahi usko to humne irrigate hi nahi kiya usko nourish nahi kiya lekin phal khaye ja rahe khaye ja rahe khaye ja rahe ab ye kab tak ped dega phal उस बेचारे का भी अंत आ जाएगा कब तक गाड़ी को रगड़े जाओगे सर्विस नहीं करोगे उसकी कभी तो लेकर जाना पड़ेगा ना गैराज में बेहतर ये कि प्रिवेंटिव मेंटेनेंस कर लो ताकि इंजन ना खराब हो फिर इंजन खराब हो जाओ बोले भैया खर्चा बहुत हो गया यही हाल हमारा है हमारा भी इंजन है कई सारे इंजन है हार्ट भी हमारा इंजन है दिमाग भी हमारा इंजन है लंग्स भी हमारे इंजन है हम लोग अपने रूट्स को नहीं सही करेंगे तो इंजन कहीं ना कहीं तो लुड़केगा ना फिर हम डॉक्टरों पे खर्चेंगे सो प्रिवेंटिव ऑल वी आर सेइंग इज गाइस यू डिजर्व टू बी हेल्दी यू डिजर्व टू बी फुलफिलिंग योर पोटेंशियल एंड द पोटेंशियल इज इनफिनिट ईच वन ऑफ अस ईच वन ऑफ अस हु इज टेकन ह्यूमन फॉर्म वी हैव इनफिनिट पोटेंशियल वी आर डूइंग अ डिससर्विस बाय नॉट रियलाइजिंग अवर इनफिनिट पोटेंशियल और ये जीते जी मर के नहीं चाहिए हमें मर के किसने देखा है जीते जी चाहिए बोलते हैं मर के हेवन पे जाओ क्यों भैया जीते जी क्यों ना जाए वाई नॉट वाई कैन वी क्रिएट अ कंडीशन ऑफ सच जॉय इन आर सेल्स द हेवन एक्चुअली स्टार्ट चेजिंग अस बोले यार हमको तो आपके यहां आके ठहरना है क्योंकि आपका कंडीशन इतना अच्छा है केपेबिलिटी 
एक संकल्प होना चाहिए और जो आजकल के यूथ है ना इन सब में ये दे हैव लॉट ऑफ ट्रिमेंडस एनर्जी चैनलाइज कर लीजिए मैं कहता हूँ कुछ आपके सामने नहीं टिकेगा बहुत आगे निकल जाओगे आप लोग हमसे बहुत ज्यादा सक्षम हो टूडेज जेनरेशन इज वे अहेड ऑफ अस वे वे अहेड और वट आई वॉज एट योर एज आप लोग की पोटेंशियल इतनी ज्यादा है आइडियलिज्म है वैल्यूज हैं हम लोग से वैल्यूज थोड़े डिफरेंट है लेकिन वैल्यूज है हम लोग को आपसे सीखना है सो so, आपने जो अटैचमेंट्स की बात करी आपको एक ही मशवरा मैं दूंगा आयुष्मान अंशुमन आपको सॉरी आयुष्मान पता नहीं क्यों बोल देता हूँ मेरे को आयुष्मान खुराना भी बहुत पसंद है शायद इसलिए बोल देता हूँ uh, <laughs> आपको सिर्फ एक यू कैन नॉट गेट अवे फ्रॉम अटैचमेंट एज लॉन्ग एज यूर लाइफ ये जो महान लोग हैं ना जो डिटैच हैं बिल्कुल उनको भी ख्यालों में अटैचमेंट ही आते हैं कोई माइकल लाल नहीं है जो डिटैच है लेकिन हमको अटैचमेंट में ऐसे रहना है जैसे हमें एक एग्जाम्पल दिया गया है राजा जनक का एक एग्जाम्पल है हमारी हमारे शास्त्रों में लोटस का एग्जाम्पल देते हैं कीचड़ में भी रह के साफ है अटैच नहीं है क्या मतलब है इसका हमारे इर्द गिर्द माहौल जैसा भी है मैं अंदर से अपने रूट्स को नरिश करके उसके साथ कनेक्टेड रहूंगा आप खुद कमल बन गए हो बेफिक्र हो रहो दैट्स इट इफ यू लिसन टू योर हार्ट्स वॉइस यू आर गोइंग अहेड एंड फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस इन रेगुलर लाइफ यू नो रेगुलर लाइफ एंड रेगुलर आम मैंगो पीपल आम आदमी जैसे हम सब है विच मीन्स वी हैव गॉट अर स्ट्रेंथ बट वी हैव अर वीकनेस इज ऑल्सो वी हैव अर अटैचमेंट्स ऑल्सो वी हैव अर फीलिंग्स ऑल्सो हम गलतियाँ भी करते हैं हम फिसलते भी हैं वी आर नॉर्मल ह्यूमन बींग्स एक चीज है अगर आप प्रैक्टिस करना शुरू कर देंगे आपको बहुत फायदा देगा डोंट वरी अबाउट गेटिंग डिटैच क्योंकि वो दूर है दिल्ली अभी दूरस्त यू जस्ट टेक केयर ऑफ योर लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक जस्ट स्टार्ट मॉडरेटिंग योर लाइक्स एंड डिसलाइक्स इफ यू लाइक समथिंग टू मच स्टार्ट लाइकिंग इट लिटल लेस इफ यू डिसलाइक समथिंग टू मच स्टार्ट डिसलाइकिंग इट समिटल लेस manage moderate yourself in your likes and dislikes it will be a game changer for you and that includes even your mother that includes even your sister that includes even your brother there is a limit beyond which if you get attached to it it will be detrimental you know why can't we you know, आप बगैर खाने के कितने दिन रह सकते हैं हम लोग भगत सिंह लिव्ड 53, 54 डेज एंड यू स्टिल रीजनेबली स्ट्रॉन्ग टू कैरी ऑन द फास्ट सो वी कैन लिव विदाउट फूड फॉर सम टाइम हाउ मेनी डेज वी कैन लिव विदाउट वाटर मच लेसर मच लेसर देन फूड हाउ मच टाइम कैन वी लिव विदाउट ऑक्सीजन नॉट अ सेकेंड इवन लेसर कई लोग रोक लेते पांच पांच मिनट इवन लेसर वाई समथिंग सो प्रेशियस टू अस हम लोग जैसे खाने को स्टोर कर लेते हैं ऑक्सीजन को क्यों नहीं स्टोर कर लेते हम लोग ताकि हमें पांच दिन पचास दिन ऑक्सीजन की भी जरूरत ना पड़े सोचा है कभी क्योंकि ऑक्सीजन अगर रह गया उसने सारी चीज को ऑक्सीडाइज कर देना है रेस्ट कर देना है बेड़ा गर्क कर देगी हमारी बॉडी का अगर ऑक्सीजन को हमने पचास दिन रख लिया अपने अंदर हमको निकालना पड़ेगा फटाफट वी कैन नॉट गेट अटैच टू एनीथिंग ऑक्सीजन जो हमारे कितनी जरूरी है वी कैन नॉट इवन गेट अटैच टू इट उतना चाहिए उतने डोज में चाहिए जितना हमारे लिए सही है मॉडरेट 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 योर लाइक्स एंड डिसक्स अंशुमन and uh, to all the listeners who are probably your age if you can figure a way out to moderate your likes and dislikes you are way more spiritual than people jo japte rehte pura din because you're doing something actually you're taking a actual step 
to fixing your insights so mere ko bologe main bolta rahunga mere ko rokna padega aapko to ab i'll come back to you <laughs> okay uh, so uh, as we have reached 3 uh, hours we started the webinar so let's conclude here uh, i would uh, like to present the word of thanks and uh, i guess people are also getting bored now uh, i don't think so they could listen to anyone uh, talking for 3 hours or more than that we are extremely sorry viewers if we took uh, much of your time uh, it was not our plan to do so but uh, when people talk and people like it uh, then i guess okay it was a fruitful discussion thank you very much kamla pati mishra ji uh, it was honored to uh, see your comment like this okay so i would uh, now like to present my word of thanks to with this we come to an end of our webinar on challenges of youth today relations time and stress held on 12th July 2020 i extend my heartiest word of thanks to all our viewers who expended their valuable time from their schedules and join us in this live telecast on this virtual platform we reached a good number of near about 200 plus viewers and 600 registrations i thank all of them who helped us reach this good number hitting a milestone i would like to thank our guest speakers mr harpreet bhan sir uh, mr suyesh verma sir ms ekta ma'am and uh, all of those for sharing their thoughts with us and accepting our kind invitation for this webinar i especially thank our patrons dr p k upadhyay sir and mrs kalyani dikshit ma'am for their timely advice all the time guidance and support for the follow up of this webinar i should not forget to mention and thank my team who worked very hard at every point during the preparations of this webinar like we were preparing for more than uh, uh, 20 days we were busy with this webinar so i would like to thank my team as well and would not forget to take their names i would like to thank vibhor i would like to thank shimi anurag manvendra salik shikha kurban shubham ajay ayan and all who worked hard day and night to bring this webinar to be a successful end last but not the least i bow down my head in the lost feet of my almighty who always showered his blessings on all of us and helped us in making this webinar a successful one thank you very much to all the viewers our guest speakers and everybody uh, i special notice that all the participants will receive the certificates within 6 days after the webinar like days starting from today you all will get your certificates uh, on your mail ids if you face any issue you can contact us later on uh, on our mail id that is dharkan.full@gmail.com d h a d c a n f u l @gmail.com if you wish to contact any of our guest speakers mr harpreet bhan sir mr suyash verma sir or mrs ekta budulik ma'am you can contact us and drop a mail on our mail ids we can provide you their contact detail if you wish to contact or practice heartfulness meditation you can visit heartfulness.org or download hearts app from google play store thank you very much with this we come to an end of the webinar thanks for joining thank you all thank you very much everybody thanks a lot ashman thank, thank you suresh thank you harpreet sir thank you dr upadhyay sir thank you namaskar dr upadhyay ji uh, anyway we got disconnected no problem fir milenge namaskar pranam sir aur aap bahut acha kar rahe hain youth ko जो डायरेक्शन दे रहे हैं और इनको मेंटोर कर रहे हैं क्योंकि अंशुमन कई बार बता चुका है तो मिलेंगे साहब कभी तसल्ली से विल हैव अ चैट एंड विच एवर वे वे आई कैन बी ऑफ एनी असिस्टेंस आई बी डिलाइटेड ओके थैंक यू
thank you thank you and suyash so, yes, i'm going to watch your recording uh, of course of course and I, uh, i'm going to i'm going to chew your brains if i have something to <laughs> challenge you on okay definitely uh, actually uh, harpreet sir i was just telling anshuman aapne jo youth 2.0 mein you were one of the speakers yeah yeah i was yeah i was actually a part of that uh, workshop myself Okay. I, great. Yeah, yeah. I watched you there. So I was just telling him. Actually, it's an honor to be, uh, you know, one of the panels with you this time. No, it's my pleasure. It's my privilege, actually. <laughs> But tell me, did I repeat myself from there, or was it something different today? Uh, what, what it was. It was different. Yeah, as a, it, it was wasn't different. the same. Yeah, it was. Okay. Different. Chalo. Yes. At least something. Uh, Ho- yeah. Hopefully, it was of use. It was. And it was hundred percent. Anshuman, I'd like to give you some slides. I think you should. Uh, I don't know. Maybe people have left now, but I'll send you slides uh, on how various heartfulness activities and how you can reach out. I think I'm okay. happy to share uh, two e-books free of cost to all your participants. So one is okay, how sir. to manage in times of crisis. That is written by Dr. Adizes, with whom I I work very closely with him. And the other one is simple heartfulness practices. Us mein anger detox, stress detox. How to meditate? वो सब कुछ दिया हुआ है और वो ये दोनों books you can download अगर या can I send you by chat? मैं आपको chat so you can mail me you can mail me that would be far better. Okay, I'll mail it to you and then you can send it to all the participants. Okay, I'll mail that to you. Okay. In fact, I'll sure, send sir, you sure. the लेकिन मेरी problem है मेरा laptop बिल्कुल कबाड़ा हो गया आज. So सबसे बड़ी मेरा मसला वहाँ पे है. But I'll figure out how to send it to you. ठीक है? Sure, sir. Uh, we'll send it whenever we'll be sending the mails of the feedback link to our participants. At that time, mm-hmm. we can share the uh, that ebook and the slides as well. मैं आपको यहाँ आपके इस पे तो मैं भेज ही रहा हूँ जो इसका चैट है जो क्या बोलते हैं अपने पैनलिस्ट वाला उसमें एक लिंक भेज दिया मैंने. So. If you go there, you will see both the books. You will see how to download it, and it's a useful tool. And then I'll also send you the various heartfulness offerings, which will be of use to your audience. Okay? Sure, sir. Sure. Thank you. Take care, brother. Okay, sir. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, pleasure okay. talking to you, sir. Have a nice day. Bye. 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 See you on Shuman. Thank you, Bear. Okay. Bye.